Chocobo. Well. Well, for years, while you were able to make a stream of those not by bringing the rice for Mr. Electric. me all night. Tail. Well, 45 minutes. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Listen, listen. All I'm saying is don't smell the other end of that Sharpie, okay? That's a... Oh! <laughs> oh! You know, I noticed while I was wiggling my feet around that like literal debris comes up from the floor. Uh, like what's down here? There's a lot. <clears throat> look at look at my little grippies. That's true. Yeah, it's a set. It's all a, it's all set. <clears throat> you guys want to know a little TMI? Don't look at the tub back there. Stop looking at the tub. Do you want a little TMI? I was setting up this camera and I uh and I realized that my toes look like my dad's toes. Alright, we're done. Now I'm never showing this camera again. That's the end of that. <clears throat> Hundred subs to lick the floor right now. Here's the thing. That's very worth it to me. Let me land here. That's very worth it to me. Like, I'm not so... Listen, 
I make what you guys give me, right? So that's that's actually worth it to me. The only but is it will be clipped and maybe my peers would see it. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to go, does what we really need the money that bad? The thing is, I don't need the money that bad. I just am greedy. I would love a hundred. So I'm a greedy man. I'm a greedy goblin. And I don't view that as that. I, I, I think chat even agrees. Chat would say, that's kind of a great deal. Who wouldn't lick their floor for a hundred subs, right? But the problem is, is that my peers who are just now starting to communicate with me would see that clip and go, should we be paying him when he comes on the show? Or should we, like, what, is he that bad? Does he have like a daughter or something? Is it, are there like bills? Your peers would be jealous. Oh, why loud? Why loud? Also, boys, hello, everybody. Welcome to stream. <coughs> By the way, the words pedophile and goblin are unbanned. So go crazy, chat. Go crazy. If I sound more sick today, it's because I don't know what's happening, but I woke up today with a sore throat. <laughs> Trust me, chat. If you're sick of it, how do you think I feel? I, I'm not even lying to you. I woke up today with a sore throat. Too much Coke? I don't do Coke. It's called long COVID. I don't have COVID. I honestly think it's still my cold, my OG cold. Just maybe like another wave of it. Maybe because uh, I don't feel bad. I just have like a really sore throat today. I was mad. I was like, chat's not even going to believe me. It's from... Um, it's from the poop necklace. Oh boy, we gotta talk about the poop necklace, don't we? Too it was the shit talk. necklace. Thank you, booty. It, it was okay. the shit necklace. You're right. You're right. You drank my drink, Alex. W listen, Alex. I'm not. Ugh. Alex is gonna be mad. Alex is gonna get sick and she's gonna blame me. Go to the ER. <clears throat> Some of y'all got way better health care than me. Go to the ER. I said the waterfall wow. and you didn't. Alex, get on a call right months. now, you stupid. This is literal. Recently. Alex, get on a call right now. Dear I, Bobby, If I, I recall you. correctly, I tried to waterfall and failed, and then you said, it's fine, just drink it. You bitch! Watch it. Watch Please it. Right now. Watch it, Alex. Watch it. Love you, Web. Go to the ER. It's legit Goblin. free. She's calling. Oh, she actually wants to call. We're hashing this out. Ready. She said, pick up ugly. Write that down. Write that down, chat. 17 That's months. Abus. Let's go, Webby 7. Someone got the crowd yeah, joke. Thank you. I can't stop saying that now. Watch it. Watch it. It's so funny. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> 38 months of pure unadulterated Hello? retardation. Hey. What's up? I wouldn't miss it so, for the world. Go ahead. When you're, when you're told to waterfall, yeah. uh -huh. and then you're like, ah, I put my mouth on it. That's not what happened. <laughs> it Accidentally. It That's happened so, accidentally. So I accidentally touched it a little bit with my lip. And then, I went, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And then you went, it's fine. You can just drink from it. <laughs> okay. No, but you touched your lip. I'm like, well, it doesn't matter. I'll just drink but it. But now it's a bit of a different story than what you're spewing in <laughs> oh, chat now. But, isn't you, it? but I told you the waterfall and you already touched it with your lips. There is such a difference. And oh, I think my lip accidentally touched the rim. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. let's, let's put a vote to mm -hmm. chat. Chat, mm -hmm. who's right here? I said, waterfall it. And then you touched Al your now, lips Alex, on it. Watch so it. I'm like, watch it. Watch oh, it. ugly. Oh, you're so ugly. <laughs> Now watch it. A uh, pay PJ Wubby. Thank you for the five subs. See, they're giving me. They support me. They're calling me ugly. <laughs> they're saying, okay, they're calling me an asshole. Calling me a pedophile, which I don't know how they have proof of that already. They're telling it was an. Accident. Also, at the time, you said I'm ninety nine point nine nine percent sure I'm not sick. So I've been okay. sick in days. <laughs> I, 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 am I getting mm -hmm. in trouble now for being incorrect on something I had no control <laughs> over? How about how, okay, Alex? How about how about we talk about last night? Mm -hmm. Who was there for you? Hmm? Who was there for you last night? Listen. Hmm. Who was there for you? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Okay. Okay. First off, people were saying Ash. What do you mean? What, what do you mean? Yeah, Ash. Ash fed me. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Look! Look here. Listen. Wait. I want to say one thing. Okay. Because I'm 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 so mad at you that you're doing this to me right now. Can't we be doing this to me? <laughs> No, I'm I kidding, was, I have just been not you, sick. I've had like no symptoms. I'm like, I've been symptomatic free for three days. I'm just I've making sure you know I'm mad if I get sick. That's all. <laughs> Let me finish. That's my 
my whole point. Okay. I've been going to the gym. No yeah. symptoms. No nothing. <gasps> I, my cold is over. What else do you do when you don't have symptoms? You move I on. You... I have been fine. Okay. You were concerned because we were sharing a drink on the mm -hmm. PO box stream. You're like, hey, are you yeah. fully not sick? And I said, yeah, I'm, it's, I've been fine for three days. Okay. I've been going to the gym. You know this. I'm fine. Okay. Everything's good. Everything's working out. Great. Everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up today out of my control. I'm like, oh, my throat is hurting a lot. Like, I feel like I'm sick again. And you're going to blame me? <laughs> I'm going to cry. It's fine. It could, be, it could be not a cold. Someone's saying it could be from the bong. It could be from, like, a few weed hit. That's all. I, I did. Dude. Okay, I'm going to go, Ox. Thank you. Okay, God bless. okay bye. bye. All right, bye. Yeah, what an unbelievable bitch. God. The the gall on her, dude. The, the her absolute willingness to lie must be stored in her memories, bro. Oh, she's she's bad. She's still in chat. <laughs> Alex, I'm kidding. You're you're not. You're right. Got the balls on now. I wore poop yesterday. That was two days ago. Don't fucking see, victim. Don't act like the victim. That was two days ago that you wore poop. Thank you. Anyway. You right, thank you. <laughs> I heard licking the floor will make it better. What's wrong with you people? By the way, Mallow him. Thank you for the 10. Actually, hold on. While we have Alex like right now, right here, ready to go, Alex, I'm calling you again real quick. What's up? Licking the floor for 100 subs. Wow. Is it something I should do or is <laughs> no, it something I should do? No, not at all. You're so like not like, why would you lick the floor? Think about how dirty that is. You could, I don't even know what you could pick up off that floor. Let me, okay. You so could get Alex, so uncontrollably sick. That's not enough. You think, you think I could get uncontrollably sick? You could, you could. <laughs> uh, have you seen that floor? <laughs> What's in there? I feel like you could have like made a new virus within those threads. I, what if I, what look if, at oh. them. What is that a poo? Melon? Hold on, what is that a poo on your floor? Hold Where's on, is that a poo? poo? Is that a poo? No. Nope. What's in front of that little black square? Is no, that a poo? Like, what really? is that? Is that a poo? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't fucking lick the floor. What? Where? My feet? You is that my feet? a? Oh. Is Wobby? Is that a poo? Can you uh, see if it's a poo? <laughs> uh, hold on, I have to. My mom's calling. I have to check something. <laughs> is that a poo? <laughs> hold on, my mom's calling. I gotta check something. Don't touch it with your hands! <laughs> Don't lick it! Is it a poo? Uh, it looks like a poo! Don't touch it! Uh, I'm crying. I'm crying. Don't touch it! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ew! Is it a poo? <laughs> Roll it towards the camera. <laughs> uh -oh. I think it's. I think it's... <laughs> is it a poo? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> right, is there a second one beside it? Wait, what's that? Is there two wait, poos? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> under the paper! Under the paper! What is that? No. What's under the paper? <laughs> no. no, I don't. I, I don't okay, know. that's not a poo. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Don't lick the floor. <laughs> no. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, in your in your defense, <laughs> in my right. defense, the price has <laughs> gone up to 200 subs. <sighs> oh god. Okay. No, that's still not enough. There's poo there. No, I, I think 200 subs is very <laughs> fair at this point. <laughs> <laughs> all oh, right your funeral <laughs> fuck alex how much for you to lick the floor <laughs> fuck no Judges, fuck in, no in the, okay but everyone has a you want to do it for like <laughs> retirement money i do for 10k 10k yeah would you split it with me no would you why do would eight, i split it with you would you do eight and two no i do 10k nine and one 10k. 9,000. Will you? I would. I'm not gonna let you into this room ever again. Nine thousand dollars to you, one to me. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars and one dollar to you. <laughs> Make it five dollars. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. You, all right. You drive a hard bargain. <laughs> <laughs>
eat the watermelon for 30k? Uh, Alex, no. Well, I got you on the call. Wait, hold on. Let's. Oh let's... my god. Okay. Could you How... die from that? Oh god, Bob! Thank you for the five. I think I'd want a doctor's opinion first. Yeah. To see like <laughs> yeah. what my odds are on living. Yeah. But if 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 I could guarantee to to a to a like a decent margin that I'm not gonna get extremely ill, I would absolutely eat it. I don't see how there is any doctor that would tell you you're not going to get extremely <laughs> ill from eating a very, well, very, very, <laughs> very old and moldy piece of watermelon. <laughs> Northern Dick, think of the 10. I think I could find a doctor. They have those doctors on Venice Beach. How, how old is that just, thing like, now? Is it a year? The, the watermelon. <laughs> oh my God. Should we give it a birthday? Have we had a birthday party for the watermelon? Like maybe give it a little hat? Yeah. Like has it Why been? Is it one years old yet? How, how no, old is that thing? Suddenly you're so invested in it. Where a few seconds ago you didn't even want it to. No, because if I if, if 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 I if I humanize it, then you won't eat it, Wubby. I'll if I eat humanize it, for 30K, it we get... I kind of don't care. Even if it has a birthday with a little hat. <laughs> I, I'm great, I, dude. <laughs> I'll name it on the way down. Peanut said he'd eat it for 10k. Peanut Alex, tried to die. I think, Alex, I think you're too used to two hundred dollar necklaces. There, I said it. There I said it. <laughs> I, I think, own one. I, Actually, I, I own think two. The, I think the rich life has gotten to you a little bit. <laughs> what the I, fuck? Sorry. Most of my necklaces are like five dollars from yeah, Forever Twenty One. Yeah, but here's the thing, right? Here's the thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're doing the classic thing of like, oh, I would never, bro. You know how many people in chat would eat my my feces for like? They're saying eat my ass. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, thank you, Alex. Hey, okay, hey bye. Uh, I probably, there is a 90% chance I'll need to call you back in the next five minutes, but after those five minutes, those odds go down to about 5%, okay? Uh, so okay. just be ready, because you know what I mean? Chat knows what I mean if they watch stream. This always happens, right? So stay on call for the next five minutes. Okay, well, can I ask, can I just ask you something? Just serious me to you. Like, pretend like there's no stream. Like they can't hear this, right? Pretend there's no stream. Just yeah, there's no stream. Just pretend there's no swab it, and culture your floor? floor. Oh, we should do a swab and do the bacteria culture on my floor, Alex. Wouldn't that be fun? But is that a poo? I just want. I need you to answer me. I need you to acknowledge my voice. Is that a poo? It's watermelon. <laughs> No, your voice which, wavered. Which one I, what, my voice did what? Which it show, wavered. Which, point on the screen. What are we talking about here? Is what poo? Show your feet. Look at the I'm poo. Showing my feet. The, okay. Look, I'm pointing I'm, at look. it. I'm pointing at it. Okay. Can you describe where it is? It's in front of the paper. Um, if you if you look at the very end of the marker and you go straight to the back. Um, straight to the back. There's a there's a little. Oh, poo. I see what you're talking. No, I see what you're talking about. That is a creatine pill. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the creatine pill. The thing, but beside that, is that a poo? What is that? Why does it look like that? that? Okay, that creatine pill is fucking massive. That's bigger than the I poo. Know. Thank you. I know they're really hard to take. I hate them, and you have to take like four a day. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Is it a poo? I need you to tell me. If it's hundred subs, Alex, and I'll tell you what it is. Hundred subs, <laughs> and I'll tell you what it is. T back. Thank you for the 20. See what I mean, by the way? I told you five minutes. There's a 95% chance we'll be back on this call. I told you. <laughs> Tay back. Hello. Is that a poo? Subs. Is that a poo? Okay. Is that right there a poo? Is that thing a poo poo? Alex? Yeah. If somebody gifts 100 subs, I will tell you what it is. If not, we're going to leave it on the floor for now. Okay? <sighs> I'll call you back if that happens. <laughs> okay. Okay? Our time's okay. tough. Are you okay? See, Peanuts are doing to me. What I'm scared people will do if they get a clip. Uh, peanut of wrote, um, tout. Oh, what a fucking moron then. So. 50k for eating everything off the floor. Bro, you ain't got 50k <laughs> to throw around like that. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Okay, bye, Alex. Bye-bye. Mm. <laughs> All right, boys. Are we streaming? Is this live? Hello, chat. Welcome to stream. We haven't started anything yet. We have a lot to get through tonight. Maybe your throat is sore from reason. Alex's cup. <gasps> Maybe Alex got me sore. Maybe. Hey, Al Hello, I'm chat. Down. How are you guys? Good evening. Good Touch evening. Me. Good evening, everybody. How are you? We're doing the iceberg today. We're going to finish up the iceberg prize. today. That's right. We're going to finish up I media share. Alex we have though. a few minutes. Uh, Actually, it's uh, a mandarin fish. One interesting fact about Strong the mandarin man. fish is Looking that it is one love. of the few species of fish that mate for life. And they perform a unique dance during courtship where they rise up together and release their eggs and sperm mm. into the water column. 
Aww. You take one poo on the floor and now everyone is against you. Thank you, bro. Fuki Jin Fuki and Trollko. Amen to that. Brother. Can we have an update on your GG flavor? Yeah, uh, yeah, at June uh, 2nd. Literally fully and fully released flavor mat stickers June 2nd. The flavor's done. And it's good. I'll tell okay, I'll say this right now. Put it I'll in say the this bong. right. That's why your throat's sore by the way. I believe that. I, I maybe I'm not sick, right? It's just my throat, nothing else. So Real quick about my gamer subs flavor. By the way, use code Webby at checkout. Uh, it's all done. It's all complete. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn because, listen, everyone has a different preference. And if you sitting at home don't like my new flavor, I'm not going to take it personally because I, it's for people who like the flavors that are in it, right? With that being said, I have every flavor of gamer subs. They send them all to me. I have every single flavor in this house. There is only one, like, container that we have reached the bottom of. And had to, and got rid of the container. There's only one, and it's my flavor. Now maybe it's because everyone who lives with me is a fucking simp loser. Okay, maybe that might be true. I will acknowledge that's possibly true too. However, it doesn't change the fact that only one flavor got down to the bottom. And I will also say it is the flavor I drink the most of. Uh, isn't it because you dropped it? Don't don't talk. A uh, booty says best flavor. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it for the booba art. Oh yeah, please do, please do. It's uh, awesome. Uh, oh fuck! Oh fuck! I'm finna bust. Ooh. Thank you. It's All right. Thank you. Lover. Guacamole Gamer Fart is the worst flavor. I don't like it that much anymore, bro. There's way better flavors. Their new one's really good. The the red raspberry. That's what I've been sipping on. You've seen me probably sip on this for the past like five streams. I'm actually really into this one. This probably this one's probably gonna go next. Eternal Pizza Party. Thank you. Almost What's your second months. favorite flavor? For another uh, Wednesday, that's tough. That's tough. Medicine. I like the blue blowhole one that they See just released. I like that a lot. Lately? I do not. Okay. Just to prove to you guys, I'm not trying to sell you every flavor. Yes, I make money when I when you guys use the code. Yes, I do. And I appreciate it. But just to prove to you, I am. Uh, sorry about that. That was. God, that felt exposing. Uh, just to prove to you, I do not like every flavor. Here's a, one of their newest ones. I don't like this one at all. Anime girl thigh. I've had it twice now, and both times I'm like, it's just a worse version of my flavor. ADHD foot bounce. Yeah, you guys want to know what I look like at the bottom half? You guys think I'm getting blown by some model on stream secretly? Here's what's really going on uh, under the hood. Am I funny? Am I funny? Is it funny? Is that poo? Why doesn't my pinky bounce with the rest of my toes? That's actually freaking me out a little bit. Why isn't why is my pinky locked in? Whatever. Fuck it. All right, moving on. Let's go. Weird, right? It's called a stabilizer, Wubby. What is it? A, is it? Is that? Is that my whisker? Is it my version of a whisker? Fifty subs. If you smoke that thing, off. my favorite thing ever is when you used to press the button to extend your laugh and trick Alex. It's the best. Please bring it back. Wait, press the button to extend your laugh? What the fuck was this guy? What? What stream were you watching? Huh? Does anybody know what that guy's talking about? Oh, here's the laugh extension button. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, Tayback, thank you for the five subs, Tayback. That's a lot from you today. Wubby Wubby Yum Yum. <laughs> thank you, appreciate you. I don't know, when you laugh with a straight face. Okay, so when I laugh with a straight face, now I want everybody to ask themselves, in what world is my straight face laugh the same as when Wubby used to press the button to extend his laugh. Please tell me how you went from point A to point B on that one. Wubby, stop talking and hit the button. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Dr. Boba Keen! Thank you. If you're talking about the reverb, when did I do a... I don't even know what the bit is! And it's not a button, it's a knob! Ah! Oh, twist. <clears throat> we have so much to do tonight. Uh, 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 and I'm doing nothing. My boy's foot shaking like a male freshwater drum swim bladder. <laughs> I peeked, but it was so funny. Hey, Wubby, you I, should try and hi. get in contact with Chubby Emu. He's friends with William Osmond and Niall Red. He's a doctor Ch and can give you medical advice. Ch Chubby Emu? Thank you, Ecuadorian grandpa. Okay. What, uh, okay. 
if we could get an actual YouTube doctor on stream tonight, I will ask him if I could eat the watermelon and we'll go from there. Okay. But I'm not going to, I'm just going to say that out loud and see what happens. And until then, we're going to move on. Is that fair? Hit the button, lovey. Hit up Dr. Mike. I don't think Dr. Mike wants to be anywhere near this stream. <coughs> Booty says he has a PhD. I think Booty just doesn't want me to eat it. All right. Big news, everybody. This is huge. Hi. This is actually huge. Uh, and I would never clickbait you like this. A few, uh, let's, I, I got to pause everything. I want, let's get some sad music here. We got a lot to talk about. Okay. This one's a little sad. Huge news. Sad, but a silver lining. Hold on. Let's get some sad music. And you know, you guys won't know I wouldn't dick you around like this. Okay. I only ever, I've only ever played this music twice. And one of those times was during my mother's cancer scare. So, you know, I wouldn't fuck around. As you guys know, if you, I think it was during the pandemic, we lost a lot of lives. Um, a lot of people lost their lives during COVID. I'm sure everybody knows somebody. <clears throat> oh yeah. Jerry Springer died. <laughs> That sucks. But uh, I lost someone very near to me during COVID. I didn't talk about it much. I've mentioned it a bit on stream, but I honestly didn't think it would be fun to bring it on the mood. But over COVID, uh, someone that was there for me growing up, someone who I originally met through my grandmother. This person was a close family friend, a friend to my friends, and they were pretty well known. You may know them, but during COVID, Costco discontinued their diced onions. And since then, it's been really hard. <laughs> it's been really hard for me to enjoy their hot dog drink combo and the slice of cheese up without those onions. I hear you, thank you. Someone said crocodile tears. I saw myself as more as a, as a, as a, Well, there goes that joke. Okay, I was gonna say it was an alligator. I don't know. But regardless, boys, I have big news today. And I hope this is real because I'm believing it off of the subreddit and I shit you not. I, when I saw this, I, I got giddy like, like, like Christmas, Christmas morning. I shit you not, boys. Fuck you, I believe. Well, I haven't said it yet. What are you, to, what are you watching? Boys, condiment update. The diced onions are returning. Now I don't know if it's real. I have no, I don't know for sure. People are saying fake in chat. I want to be very clear. If this is fake, I am killing myself. I hope this reaches Costco's desk. I am killing myself. Now, obviously, okay, here's the thing. Things are a little different individual cups held under refrigeration inside the food court available to members upon request so to all the costco employees that might be in my chat maybe you have a friend who works at costco in the san diego area okay this is your warning now it's time to stock up i'm gonna be walking up there asking for 10 fit maybe 20 of these little fucking cups I'm going to be a menace until you bring them back to the people. But we take what we can, okay? We'll take what we can get. I will say this. I love Costco, the, the, the cheese pizza, the hot dogs. But since they removed the onions, it has not been the same. And you guys know, and I, when, when they bring back the onions, I will show you. I will do it one more time for the boys, how I eat my Costco pizza. I'll describe it briefly right now. Okay, you take a shitload of onions, you pour it on top of the cheese pizza, just on the one slice, pour it on top, okay? Well, boys, <clears throat> we have some bad news, and I'm going to bring you the evidence right now. I'll be right back.
I just shot a man. You know, <clears throat> when God giveth, God taketh away, and God gives me the onions back in one hand, and in the other hand, a hairless cat jumps up to where I'm storing all our Legos and destroys the vase. And, oh, okay, I dropped it too, so maybe I, maybe I should be less critical. But also destroys the flowers. They are exploded on the floor. <clears throat> but see, I'm smarter than Hezbollah. I punished my cat off stream and I believe you could only hear it <laughs> bro I don't know if you guys heard <laughs> could you guys hear me screaming at the cat <laughs> now, I didn't touch him I didn't touch him but I watched that stupid little hairless fuck cow does anyone have a clip of it <clears throat> so uh HP is gonna be walking around with three paws for probably the next six months I mean he's he'll survive it'll make him tougher um but what a piece of shit, right? Like, I don't go Bad around jumping on his him. shit. Watch the clip. Baby Didn't you already do this bit, Wubby? Peepee. What bit? I, are, I, are, are you guys, are some of you brain dead? You verbally abused the cat? Man, that's low. My brother in Christ, if you're in my home and you destroy my Legos, I will verbally abuse you too. Bring your fucking mom, dig up grandma, bring the whole goddamn family, bring your aunt, sit everyone in your life down. I will verbally abuse and accost each and every member of them, okay? I don't give a fuck. Bring your fucking dog. I don't give a shit, dude. I swear to God, dude. <clears throat> what did I just walk into? My The fucking cat. What is what is wrong? What is up with Dinef. cats? What, why do cats hate Legos so much, dude? What's wrong with cats? So anyway, the onions are back. What is this? Someone just paid to play this, but we don't. Media share is not on right now, so let's just. It's not is this gonna be? Hold on, I need to screen this first because I'm realizing now. I'm realizing now, you guys. This is this is an unlisted video you've donated. Hold on. Oh, please don't have this guy's dick come out. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We can watch this. It's TOS. I'm being told it's TOS safe. My chat would never lie to me. I'm going to the store to get munchies. Okay. I want, I want the white fudge covered pretzels. I want, if you're going to 7-Eleven, I want the little sweet buns. Um, I want, why are people saying stop, bro? Uh, I want, that's yogurt. It's not yogurt. Uh, Lil Debbie. I was Lil wrong chat. Bionicle is actually pretty cool and not for speds. Uh, no Funyuns. Bro, do you want to know my relationship with Funyuns? <clears throat> I can have a bite of a Funyun and then I'm good. I don't know how they sell these things in bags. I, I, I really don't understand how people can eat Funyuns, I can have like if they let me. See, I would buy Funyuns if they sold them individually. I can have a Funyun. <laughs> Funyuns are the onion rings, right? But you love onions. I love onions, but I feel the same about onion rings. If I bought, if I buy like a thing of onion rings from like a fast food place, every time I order, if I'm with somebody, I go, "Do you want onion rings?" And if they say yes, I go, "Cool, I'm gonna order them for you." I'm going to take one. There's just too much. Is that you in the profile? What? Where? Okay, that's Burger Andy. That was really mean. But we're going to watch this. Somebody donated this. Uh, this is the streamer streamer. Okay, I see where this is. It's not This chips with some dip man some beef jerky some peanut butter Ooh. get some haagen dazs ice Ooh. cream bars a whole lot Ooh. make sure chocolate gotta have chocolate Ooh. man some popcorn red popcorn graham Ooh, crackers that's a lot graham wow. crackers with marshmallows this person fucking munchies bro Th that person knows how to munchie 
Holy shit. I will say this video would be more accurate if Meat Canyon was one of those hands. I feel like Meat Canyon did all the work. Low battery, charge your fucking phone, get him up there! God damn, look at this, dude. This is absurd. Help him! I kind of love that though. That was so wholesome. I love that. Thank you guys. Thank you all. Yes, thank you. Look at the username. Drunk people doing things. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, true. Okay, where were we? What were we talking about? <clears throat> Beautiful. Kind of cute. Actually, kind of cute. 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31, 31. Dude, I, I got... Okay, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I did I did something so high. fat guy the other day. <laughs> I did something so fat guy. I wasn't even gonna tell this story, but I'm gonna tell you. Dude, I went I was driving home and I wanted a snack and I was like, ooh, you know what sounds fucking good? Movie theater popcorn. But I don't wanna see a movie, so I'm like, I'm just gonna run in and grab some popcorn and head home. And that sounded so good to me, right? So I go into the theater. <coughs> I've done that. Hey, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. People are all, I'm already getting flack for that, and that's not even the story that I found funny. Oh, no. That's so unhinged. That's unhinged? Yo, that's unhinged? What? Hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. I didn't realize that not uh, people didn't do that. We're putting up a poll. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're putting up a poll. Bro, you're better than that? What? Look at me in the eyes. Like, I'm just talking to you, the guy who sent that message. I swear to God, me and you. Bro, who do you think? I am so not better than that. Do not be fooled by anything you see. I am not better than that at all, bro. I have viewers watching me, but that gives me no authority. I, dude, look at my carpet, bro. What do you mean I'm, be I'm better than that? There's possibly poo over there. All right, let's put up a poll. Uh, uh, getting movie theater popcorn, but not going to movie. Yes, no. Okay, this might be a bad poll, but yes means you've done it. No, okay. No, no, I'm not even going to add context to it. Yes or no? Just yes or no? I, I thought this was more normal. I thought people do this. That's unhinged. Bro, if you're having a movie night, if you're having a movie night and you're already out, like let's say I'm having a movie night at, at nine o'clock and I'm out at the mall running errands, okay? I'll probably grab some pop movie theater popcorn on the way home. Y'all have had it delivered before? Okay, you called my bluff, but I'm gonna say it. I'm, I, 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 actually, I'm, um, should I say it? Oh, fuck, should I say it? You know you could pop your own popcorn, right? You know that it doesn't taste as good as a movie theater, right? Without a bunch of effort. And then with the effort, I'm talking about I'm already out, bro. If I'm already out, I'll grab it. I'm not going to be sitting in my house and go, hey, let's go grab movie theater popcorn. It's so expensive. Fuck yeah, it's expensive, dude. Bro, this is a, this is a, fi this is a finer thing in life, bro. Listen, if you're ordering filet mignon, I'm not going to be like, what's wrong with you? I'm going to respect the fact that you're treating yourself tonight, Okay. It's just salt and butter, dude. See, there we have a fuck. There we have a moron. Doesn't even know about flav, flav, flavor, flavor call. There we have a moron right there. So you're already out of the conversation. You're already done. Okay. Also, I want to say, this is not what I wanted to talk about at all. Because <laughs> it gets worse. They use seasoning. They do a lot. And it tastes better. I'm sorry. It tastes better. I have a popcorn machine in my house. And I've made it taste like movie theater popcorn with the flavor call and the coconut butter and all that shit. I've done it. It just takes effort. It takes effort. And if I'm out and I can walk to the theater, yeah, I'll pay 10 bucks. Okay? Fine. 10 bucks. Fine. Try androgynous milk fat. What is it? What is the, what is the fucking orientation of the milk fat matter? What year is this? Okay. So, see, chat, when you guys jump down my throat for this being weird, I just want to point out that one third of you agree with me. And that's not that you guys. I mean, let's think about it here. 
we we've done more for less okay so let's be fair to the one third that agree with me the fact that you have a machine and the ingredients makes this so much crazier oh buddy okay all right ladies and gentlemen i did not bring this up to talk to you about justifying going to the movie theater grabbing popcorn and leaving this is not what i wanted to talk about I wanted to talk about a different aspect of this, and I don't feel like I'm in a safe environment now to tell you the rest of the story, because this is even the bad part. So I'm there now, I'm looking at the concession stand, and everything smells good, and I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna make this a party now. I'm gonna make this a party. I order, <laughs> so I order some some uh, 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 pretzel sticks, like pretzels with cheese, and I'm like, you know what? I really wanna Soak down a glizzy, bro. I'm trying to get fucking glizzard, bro. I'm trying. I'm. I've had. I'm on this thing recently. I don't even know what's wrong with me. I'm on a hot dog kick, bro. I'm on a hot dog kick, bro. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care how bad they are for you, bro. I am on a. And I think it's been so. Diet's over. Diet's not over. Diet's not over. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Okay. I'm having fun. But I'm trying. Listen. I'm having a I'm having a pregnancy hot dog phase right now. I don't know what's going on. Okay? I don't know why, but you I'm trying suck. to get it. There's so many people in chat going, "Dude, you're d d fat." Da -da -da. Bro, I want you to know something, okay? <clears throat> if I could retire today and just follow you around in your miserable life, I would. I would spend the rest of my years following you around and just sucking the fun out of everything you do. Because if you're in my chat high horsing a movie night, the calories from a movie night, you either must push everybody away from you in your life or you're so miserable, no one's even gotten close to you in the first place, bro. You know the amount of soda? Bro, I'm having a movie night. Have you ever lived, bro? Cool, you're gonna live to 85, but how much stuff crust did you have? Shut the fuck up, bro. Okay, there's a balance. I was having a movie night. What's, are you gonna, do you sit outside the movie theater and go, you know, this That's money true. could be going to a gym membership, you know? Do you even, uh, we, like you, bro, have have fun with your fucking turkey club while you're watching the new Mario movie. I'm gonna be enjoying my fucking popcorn, bro. What's wrong with you? You probably pack a lunch when you go to Disney, all right? And you act like it's a health reason, but we both know it's because you can't afford it, all right? What? Come on, what are you doing here? Anyway, what was I saying? <clears throat> Poor shaming to my audience members who are who are financially struggling but are nice fun people i want you to know i would never shame you ever to my fat viewers who That's are here true. for a good time i would never shame. to my health nuts in chat who are just here for a good time i love you but if you come into my chat and you're gonna act like a dick then i'm gonna target the easiest thing i can just like you did all right so just know Someone said, you're poor shaming. No, 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 no. I, the poor people on my chat, you are great viewership. You are great and I love you, okay? The fit people on my chat who understand the joys of movie theater popcorn, I love you. I love you. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you, pores. We need you here. We need you here. We need you here getting money to eventually sub, okay? The clock's ticking. Getting real impatient. All right. What were we saying though? <clears throat> okay, so can I just tell my fucking popcorn story? This isn't even a good story. Uh, 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 uh. Is it okay to like Taco Bell? Of course it do. Taco Bell's great. Not all the time though. You suck. Um, so I'm standing, I'm looking at the concessions on my popcorn. And I order some pretzels and I'm, I, I'm, I'm on a hot dog phase right now. I don't know why. It'll probably end soon, but I'm like, I'll take a hot dog too. I'm so, I'm like, oh my God, this, I'm, I'm about to pig out. Watch a movie at home. Oh, this sounds so good. I get in my car. Oh, you know I can't even wait. You know I can't, I take out the hot, you know I can't even fucking wait, bro. And my plan is to eat the hot dog on the way home because I can't even wait. I'm so excited. My whole, I open up the foil and my entire night was ruined. Let me, I don't have a photo of it because I'm not going to lie to you. I <laughs> <laughs> there is a parking lot in San Diego with a mall 
where there is a hot dog on the floor of it. Not the foil. The foil is crumpled into my car. But there is a hot dog on the floor of a parking lot. And let's just say this. It's not there on accident. It's not there on accident. I know you might be saying, Wubby, that's littering. To which I would say, no, I'm feeding the wildlife or the homeless or a combination of the two, depending on how feral these people are. I don't know. Did you cry? No, but I'm going to show you. I don't have an exact. I didn't take a photo of it. I didn't think this was going to be a stream story. Otherwise, I would have. Okay. But let me show you what it looked like just from a Google search. I'm going to see if I can find a photo of what this thing looked like. I took one bite. Okay. I muscled it down because I didn't know what to do with it. And then I threw the hot dog onto the floor of the parking lot and I drove away. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is pretty fucking close to accurate. So this is not an actual photo. This is a dr dramatization. Feeding the poor equals grounding a hot dog. <laughs> this is what it looked like. I wanted to cry. If the person at the concession stand wasn't like this sweet little, I assume like high school girl, uh, not in a weird way. I mean, like she was just a really nice, kind girl. I would have gone in there and give them a piece of my mind that they thought it was okay to serve to me, but she was very kind. And I didn't think it, I'm like, I don't want to go tear this girl a new one. This is essentially what I had got served to me. Keep in mind. Also, I fucked up too, because it's a movie theater hot dog, like eight bucks. I mean, it, it, I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say it kind of it kind of looked worse than this too. Bro said that's fine. I bit into it and it had the uh, uh, moisture, uh, uh, moistness, moistness. It had the. Uh, it was like a slim jim, like a thick slim jim. It was so. It was. It, that's what we call a wizard finger. Did I? What? It was so disgusting. Burn that shit in hell. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pickled hot dog. Thank you. A mummified hot dog. Thank you. Um, right? Okay, right? Jerky dog. Suddenly, suddenly my story's valid. Anyway, that was it. That was the whole thing. I left the hot dog in the parking lot, drove away. What reminded me of it was seeing this dog, and I'm like, that, that could have been me. Costco hot dogs never fucking let you down, dude. That was it. That was the whole story. You guys, you guys fucking made fun of me for 20 minutes. For, it wasn't, it's not even on my docket, dude. I did not write this one down. It just came to me. Did I tell you guys about my... I, 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 I recently told this in my real life to someone. Have I told you guys the story? I couldn't remember. Have I told you guys the story of my driving instructor and one of the most embarrassing moments of my life where, I, where she put her hand out? Did I tell you guys this story? Yeah, I see. Okay, how can one person say yes? <laughs> So, so, oh, someone go to San Diego and find the hot dog. This was days ago. Like I said, I feel like a homeless or a, a bird got it or something. No, I never told you this story. What? I never told you the, the handshake that has lived with me forever. Child I've never told this story on stream. Oh, oh, the handshake. Feel it's been too fucking it's, a, it's a handshake. That's I've never told the handshake story of my driving Anyways, instructor. Yeehaw. Yes, you have you told it on stream. Yippee. Love y'all, swoojity bird. All right, I'm not gonna tell it again then. Hey, Someone Dad. find the clip. Um, can I please have a kiss? It's been so many people saying no. I How did I kiss. guess it wasn't that important? Wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven. Is it on the iceberg? Tell us it's about not. Your first kiss. My kiss first hard. kiss. Kissing face. Did you guys know kissing I sucked face. a titty kissing before face. I got a first kiss? <laughs> well, obviously not breastfeeding. I mean, like, uh, uh. <laughs> yes sir, yes sir. Same dude, something about kissing was like really scary to me. And this was in high school. I was uh, He's got like, tits. I was uh, a freshman in high school, and my at the time girlfriend in high school, uh, uh, well, she was in high school, I was in college. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We were both freshmen in high school, and uh, we had been dating, and we were both like, it was like dating. What I mean, what is it even, right? We were kids. And I remember one time I we went to the park and we hadn't kissed and we had just started holding hands because we were so nervous. Um, and uh, hey, listen, listen. She had like, <laughs> I think I've told this story. She had candy, bro. And she <laughs> hit it in her bra. <laughs> this is so cringe. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my god, I don't want to talk about it, bro. Someone said she knew. Ah! Ah! I don't want to talk about it. This is so cringe. Bro, yo, shouts out to the uh, Wubby Sleep Aid channel that's probably going to pull this story for people trying to sleep. What a dream come true. So basically, she would she would uh, put the candy there and I would I would try to I would go find it. And, and hey, let's just say I would get lost. OK, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'll get lost. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, dude, it's crazy to think like. I, I, thank God I, I have like, you know, shitty, stinky swimmers because we, we, I mean, back in the day, man, we were just kids. We were both dumb kids and we were just being fast and loose with it. And I, sh I should have a child. Let's just be very clear. Luckily, uh, luckily, luckily, thank God, luckily. We were razor scootering one time and she took a huge tumble. And I think that's gross as fuck. I'm kidding! I'm kidding! Luckily, men can't get pregnant. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I was very responsible. And I was actually... Dude, I, I couldn't even kiss a girl. I was so scared back in the day, man. I'm joking! No, that was my friend Nick in high school. He was... He was... Man, he was fast and loose with it. And he definitely got... He's definitely a father now. Uh, where? Okay. Uh, uh, there's just an 11 year old Wubby around. No, no, no. I, this girl, I, I was with her for way long after that. Men can't get pregnant. Pretty bigoted take. Well, then I'm a bigot. Uh, you gotta give see, Wubby here. What? All right. I don't care. Was that actually a hot take? I didn't even mean, I just meant it as a joke. I didn't even give a fuck. Okay, we're not going to talk about the hand. Oh, you know what we're going to do today that I thought would be fun to bring back? Two years frown. We're going to bring, because of the peel box stream, a lot of people reference this. We're going to bring back the word of the day. We need to get educated here, chat. We're bringing back the word Almost of the day. Year, wubby seven, wubby it's seven, a, wubby I love seven, this little segment. Seven, wubby seven, wubby seven, wubby seven. All right, the word of the day today is, here we go. You ready? Everybody ready? 28 months of the best dumb content. We have so much to talk about tonight. Months. I'm so excited. 30 dumps. Trans men. jumps. Trans dudes, stumps. man, still got. Starting a child. What? Co okay, men can get pregnant. Dude, I think you, you guys didn't understand. Listen, listen. I think so. You guys need to understand this one thing, okay? I hear you, and I'm sure that's really important, and I God bless you. When I And I don't say this as to invalidate. I mean this wholeheartedly. In the same way I don't care about your Valorant rank, I don't care about whatever you're talking about. And I don't mean that to invalidate. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. God bless you. I don't care. It doesn't affect my life at all. Good for you. Do whatever you want. That's my opinion on all this stuff. I really don't care at all. Just like if you came to me and you were passionate about your Valorant rank, I'd be like, hey, God bless you. I do not care. Thumbs up, brother. So quit trying to bait me into saying the wrong thing to clip me. I do not care. And I mean, I, I, that's where I'm at in my life. Positively don't care. And I don't mean that in a dismissive way. I mean, it's the wrong stream. I mean, I'm the wrong content creator. I'm the wrong guy. I get, listen. Whew. I, I'm nice to the people around me, okay? I'm here to make you laugh, but I don't care about your Valorant rank. All right? God bless. You want me to vote? I'll vote on something. I don't give a fuck. Just kiss my butthole. God, I lifted my arms and I smelled them, dude. Word of the day! The word of the day is trans men. No, I'm kidding. The word of the day, here we go, is... <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna try to pronounce this without um, uh, without um, uh, hearing it first. Reboent, reboent. That's my guess. Or rebont. Ooh, it could be rebont. I'm gonna go with rebont. I'm gonna go with rebont. Reboent. <laughs> All right, we were close. We were close. Reboent. 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 All right. What's it mean? Resounding or reverberating loudly. All right. The bitch's ass was clapping so loud. It left a reboent, reboent noise throughout the, the hallways. Huh? Pretty good. Pretty good. Not bad. Huh? Uh, bro, hit the button. You got, uh oh. When Wubby presses the button, it makes a Reboen sound. 
on stream. By the way, I just want to keep reminding you guys, it is not a button. <laughs> it's not a button. By the way, I want to say this real quick. To those maybe new to stream, you did you just witnessed lore. You just witnessed lore, okay? Because I guarantee now, from now to the end of time, till I retire, people will be saying in my chat, press the button, okay? And you will go, what does that mean? And I will, and years from now, I will say, I don't, it doesn't, it never made sense. Some guy just came in and said, press the button and we'll go look back at it. We'll look at his chat, chat history. None of it will make sense. This is how it all starts. Every stupid thing in this chat comes from, from just, uh, horse cam, dude, I had a moment where I was after stream with the horse Kim Kardashian thing. I was so amazed. Hold on. I got to turn up my AC because I'm. I'm, 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 I'm sweating like a sinner, brother. <laughs> 73 degrees? You think I can work in these conditions, bro? 73 degrees in this house, bro? What the hell? Who's living in 73 degrees, bro? Chat, what's your... Okay, people. someone just said too cold. The foot? What? What? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What? What temperature is y'all's house is at? TTS. Oh, I can play it. I'm sorry. You're right. I, I. When I. Okay. When I'm live, my room needs to be 68 or lower. Even at this point, it used to be 69, but as it gets hotter outside, it needs to be lower. When I'm not live, I'm good between 70 and 72. I'm good. 72. I start to notice. I don't think about the AC when I'm at 70. I don't think about it. My house is always at 76. Degree. I know we've talked about this before, but there are fucking sickos in chats. My room is 84 degrees. Demons, bro. Demons. Full axle. Thanks for the subs. 10 subs. Thank you, bro. Now, if you're someone who doesn't have the uh, luxury of like a central air or anything, and you're just telling me you're, I know I, I grew up like that. San Diego summers, 100 degrees during the day, eight mid 80s at night, no airflow in my house. You just sweat. So trust me, I'm not making fun of the people right now who can't afford. I'm talking central air boys only or people who can make their house cold. You're choosing, you're choosing 84 degrees in your house? Who would choose that? Bro, it's gotta be cold. It's gotta be cold, bro. Dude, power be pricey. That's fair. No, that's fair. I, 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 that's fair. Listen, if you, okay. If you have a financial reason that your house is warm, I'm not talking to you. I'm not, I'm not. I had, I grew up like that. Nothing you can do. You're too poor. Suck it up. But if, if you're, if you're choosing Florida boy here, 72 during the day, 74 when I'm not home, 70 at night. You're sane. I can, I can live with you. I can, you're fine. That's fine. Dude, my sister sets hers to 80. That is just how, like, I don't actually understand. Is it re like, what's wrong with people? I sweat at 80. If my room is 80, I am sweating. Legit, my body is trying to cool itself down. And you might, well, you fat woman. I have friends who are twigs who agree. Z Zydeke! Think about five, brother. I'm sweating at 73. Thank you, dude, that's what I'm saying. Poor circulation. That is true. My mom will come over and I've, I've, I've legitimate. I'm, this is not a joke. My mom has come over, hang out, play with the cats, whatever. And I will walk out of my room and see her stiff on the couch. And I have to put her in the microwave to get her molecules moving again, because the, the house is too, this is not a joke. The house is too cold for her. So we have this like industrial microwave just for my mom. <laughs> At what point in the story do you guys know it's just bullshit? People keeping their homes like that and wonder why I don't visit their fucking lizard terrarium. Dude, amen. Amen. Uh, it totally depends on the humidity. Hey, boob. Don't call me boob. Hey, boob. Wisconsin boy here. 78 in the summer. You're you're vile. I don't want to read the rest of that. All right. Let's continue. Um, <clears throat> I have a movie review, which I know you guys love. I'll keep it brief. I have a movie review. <laughs> Do we have the text for this? Uh, we have, we have to have an overlay for this, right? <laughs> uh, I, okay. I have a movie review. I, this is my new favorite stream segment that it's only it, guys. 
It's five minutes of your time. It's not a big deal, okay? It's not a big deal. All right, so. Oh, brother. I think this... Okay. I think... Just wait. Just wait. So as you guys know, I've never seen the John Wick movies, and I'm watching them all in preparation for John Wick 4, which I plan on probably watching with my friends. All right? And everyone and their mother goes, John Wick, you gotta see it, bro. And I've always been saying, well, I watched the first one when it came out, and I didn't like it, so I didn't keep up with the series. And they all keep saying, stick with it. So... I rewatched the first one and I came to stream and I was like, Hey guys, I'm sorry. I didn't like the first one still. And they said, please just stick with it. If you don't like the second one, you can be done with the series. So I didn't like the first one. What did I give it? Like a six out of 10 or a five out of 10? I don't know. I'm going to drop it to a five. Whatever I said before, I'm giving the first John Wick now a five out of 10. Um, and I'll tell you why I'm going to drop it to a five. I'm dropping it to a five. I said that, at first, I liked it to an extent, and then about 30 minutes in, I started getting bored. I thought they didn't jump the shark enough to justify not having a story. Whatever, I didn't like the first John Wick, okay? So I booted up the second John Wick last night, and boys, moment of truth here, right? I loved it. Bro, John Wick Chapter 2 went hard! I loved it. It was so good. And it it basically solved all of the issues I had with the first movie. I have still not seen three or four, okay, which I'm going to be watching. But I believe if I were to recommend the John Wick series to anyone, I would say skip the first one. I would actually say totally skip it because the second one does exact. And, and you know what? It almost justifies why I didn't like the first one with how the second one did. Let me explain why. My main complaint of the first one was it wasn't the, in a pure action movie with no story needs to have ridiculous action for me to be invested. Otherwise I go, I don't care. You're just mindlessly killing these drones. And guess what the second movie had? Over the top, like, I mean, it was just so ridiculous. And I know maybe this isn't what everyone wanted my takeaway to be, but I was laughing and i loved it i loved every second of it i was howling bro we were five minutes in and john wick whips his car around and slams a dude into a pole and i was just i was i, I was i was blown away by it so okay i will say no story guys the story in john wick is a facade it is a framework it is the structural part of a building okay that's just there to hold up john wick killing people there's no real story. Trust me. It's not a real story. And I'm okay with I, In fact, I think it works really well in the second movie. I just didn't care. It was so cheesy. The boogeyman's coming. And John, it's just so ridiculous. And I'm like, cool. And the action held up to it. I loved it. I thought it was great. There's one scene that I want to talk to you guys about. And I have a clip of it here that I want to show you guys. So John Wick fights uh, uh, Cassian is his name in the movie. Uh, and, <laughs> and in this scene, okay, common, in this scene, spoilers, bro, it's John Wick 2. This movie came out years ago. And, and the silencer scene was, was amazing. It was so, it's so dumb, but I was having fun. That's what I wanted, and it gave it to me. Loved this movie. Would recommend it. Okay, this scene, though... <laughs> I worry that I liked this movie for a different reason. I think if a 14-year-old saw this movie, they'd go, this is so cool. This is the coolest movie I've ever seen. I think that some people who don't necessarily like... Uh, uh, I think people who like turning off their brains would go, this is a cool movie. John Wick was one of the funniest action movies I've ever seen because it was so ridiculously violent and over, over the top. And I don't know what the intention of this scene is, but I need chat to weigh in. This scene to me, I had to pause because I was laughing so hard the first time that I saw it. Now, granted, you're not going to get the same laugh here because I was watching it, not expecting it. But I want to know, chat, here's my one question. In your opinion, if you've seen it or you haven't, was this scene supposed to be funny? Because I thought it was hilarious. So here it is. 
Uh, it's the stairs scene in this fight. Totally serious. This is like a five minute long fight to the death he's having with this guy in the movie. Okay, and then this happens. Okay, you see the staircase. Immediately you go, they're going down, they're falling down that staircase, right? There they go. Okay, first, set, there they go. And I'm like, all right, ooh, bad. Big hit, right? Big hit. And I'm like, I pause the movie here. I'm like, there's more stairs. And I'm sitting here going, if, if they fall down these stairs again, I'm done. Oh, no, they didn't fall. Oh, they're just going to fight here. Oh, okay. And then, and then, three. They just keep falling down. <laughs> so when i got to this scene i'm like okay this movie gets it I, I i was so impressed that they were just like nah fuck it i loved it they just keep falling dude and then they just pick it right back up like it didn't happen another thing that i thought was another it was, it was so outrageous but that's what i want if your action movie has no story give me this Give me outrageous. Another outrageous thing that I was like, this is so, this is eye rollingly stupid. And I loved it. Was literally, you want to know the whole gimmick of John Wick 2? All right, John. So here's the situation. You're now bulletproof. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's just in your suit. You're just bulletproof. Yeah, no, no, no you're fine. No, no, if, if you're getting shot at for any reason, just hold up your vest. Like, just hold up this, the little flappy part of your suit, and you're fine. Now, you might say, Wubby, that's really stupid. What I love about the movie is the movie goes, Wubby, it is stupid. Don't worry about it. You're just here to watch people die. Kind of like Fast and Furious series, over the top. Sure, fair, sure. I haven't seen my Chat is retarded. But... Flavor call is mandatory. Nothing wrong with going to the theater and just buying popcorn. Thank you, dude! Sorry, my farts are reboned. Um, so what would I give the new John Wick movie? I'm going to give John Wick 2, new to me, I'm giving John Wick Chapter 2, five years late, I'm giving it an eight out of 10, closer to a nine than a seven. I knew I loved the movie when John Wick got a shotgun and for like five minutes was just blowing people up. I was sitting there like, this is so stupid, I love it. Oh my God. It was more violent, it was more action-y, it was more dumb, and that's what I wanted. That's all I wanted. And it worked for me. It worked for me. And I would say, because we got into a, a bit of an argument on, um, on uh, the last Monday stream about, well, name another action movie then. And I would put John Wick up there with great action moves. You're gonna love three then? I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. He was pumping motherfuckers, dude! Three sucks, four is good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, people, I'm seeing mixed reviews on three. I, I'll watch it and come back to you with the review. So there you go, there's my John Wick 2 review. I knew chat would be happy about this. I, you guys understand, a lot of people think I'm con contrarian on purpose with movies. People think that. It is not fun to come on stream and be like, man, I saw the movie and I didn't like it. And now my chat's going to shit on me. This is so much more fun. I'm so glad I liked it. Uh, three has better action, slightly worse story, but who cares? I don't want any story. 30 months. I don't want Can't any story, dude. So long. Oh, oh, real quick. I will movie. say, oh, you know what? I <laughs> You guys are going to call me a monster for this, but I'm just going to say it because I think you should know. At the beginning of John Wick 2, he has a new dog and they blow up his house and in my head i'm like if they kill the dog again i'm going to have so much respect for this movie because that has got to be the definition of writers just not caring they didn't they didn't in at least in the second movie i don't know about the other ones but i was just like oh he's back it's over everything's good he's back to normal and if they just killed the second dog i would have been like i was they didn't they didn't. The dog from the end of the first movie? Yes. Yes, I know. I know. John Wick 3 pointlessly shoehorns Halle Berry into it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I would hate to look at Halle Berry for two and a half hours. Ugh. Oh, God. Have you seen her elbows? They're way too pointy. Oh, God. Ugh. Hate looking at Halle Berry. Ooh. Ooh. Man. Also, the chick who knows sign language, the, the, that was crazy. What is she doing? 
That was crazy. She was like doing sign language the whole time. I didn't get her character, but who cares? She got hey stabbed guys, in the heart, and that was cool. PB. Oh, when I the when the dude you. they were fighting on the train and they had to be okay. I will Where's say I need to stop talking about John Wick two, but there is These a scene in John Wick two that annoyed me. In 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 John Wick two, he's fighting on the subway and the people in the rail car are just sitting, and I'm like, if I saw two people knife fighting, and I, there were people sitting right next to the door to go to the next cart over, they were sitting right next to the door. Yeah, it's like New York. <laughs> hey, I'm. Ham, if you saw a knife fight on the subway, would you just sit there? It's New York. All right, all right, all right, fair. All right, fair, fair. It was in Europe. Oh, well, there you go. What are we doing tonight? Your mom. You'd fuck. Well, we have a lot to do. <sighs> Can we watch John Wick 2? Literally, no. But thank you, I Mr. Wizzle, for the five for subs. Please watch Holy Bullet cow. Train. You'd love it. I liked Bullet Train. Is insane. Uh, well, I like the action the in it, but overall, I thought the movie was a little a <laughs> silly at times. Too silly. Hi. I don't know. I feel like it had too much story. SD for crew are best in show less than All three. right. There's my John Wick 2 well, review. I got a yap about 29 whole months. <clears throat> 19 months of entertainment. There was a post on my Keep subreddit that once. started a rabbit hole that I think I might be a little late on. But I would like to talk to you guys about it. So here's the post that started it. As you guys know... I have this hate, maybe a love for DJ Khaled. Wait, what did Ham say? Fights, uh, fights are like gases. They take up the volume of the container they're in. So no, I would move to another subway car, except now they're doing these new subways that don't have separations between cars, and I'm scared to ride them. Oh, you're, you're in the fight then. You're in the fight. <clears throat> All right, so DJ Khaled, as you guys know, we always watch clips of him on stream. And I always just, I'm so critical of him. Uh, I, 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 I hate him, and then I calm down, and I find him funny. So here is the clip that started it today. This was posted on my subreddit. <clears throat> it's from Shimai. Um, and then half of them have chili aioli. Shim, what? <laughs> shrimp Shimai. Have you ever played rock? <laughs> I saw this. And I went, is he brain, does he have brain damage? Does he legitimately have, is he Shrimp senile? Um, and then half of them have chili aioli. Shrimp, what? <laughs> have you ever played rugby? Have you ever played rugby? Does he have brain damage? So I, I wanted to talk about this on stream. But I was like, I need to do some research first. And I need to see if I'm actually making fun of a person who has maybe some sort of issue. I could not find definitive proof that he has some kind of brain issue. So we're now gonna go in on him for a minute. <clears throat> so here's the thing. While doing this research, I found out I am late to this party and I, I recognize that, okay? Critical has made two videos on him in the last six months. So I'm very late to this, but that doesn't mean I don't wanna share it with my audience regardless. Some of these you've seen, some of these Critical didn't talk about, some of these are right from Charlie's video. So shouts out to Charlie. He, he got to this first, but that being said, I need to share this with you guys. So this one you've seen, all right, here we have, <clears throat> I have a few I pulled up that you need to look at, okay? Hassan and H3 have talked about, well, H3 talked about this years ago, but there's new stuff here. Charlie's been doing this for like three years. See what I mean? He, okay, I don't want, what's wrong with him? All right, first off, you've all seen this. This is a classic, but if you haven't, I know a lot of my community's isolated, so I need to share this with you. Here we have DJ Khaled. He was very graciously gifted a, a, a guitar, a Bob Marley guitar. Iconic, incredible. And I need you to see, okay, we're gonna break this down, okay? Get it close. If just right at the gate, he move. he's, 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 I really don't wanna call him retarded. I don't want to, but my brain is struggling for a word that has as much impact about how I feel about him. Can anybody, like, in, his movement, see, you guys see it too. Like, he's like, all right, let's let him land, let's let him land. Get a close up, get a close up, get a close up of the case, the guitar, you know what I'm saying? And a special note from the Marley family. Shout out to the Marley. Melissa, can you read this for me? Can you this is a big thing here. Guarantee this man does not know how to read. I would, I would say, he, uh, maybe he can read some words, but I feel like that was a slick way for him to not have to try to read it. Now, I know that I've been there. I'm there. I'll say it. 
Read this to the world, please. Okay. Um, DJ Khaled, we're excited to share this new guitar with you. As someone who has an appreciation for Bob Marley's life and music, we want you to be one of the first to play the Guilty 20 Marley based on Bob's at home songwriting. So they, they want him to play it. They want him to be the first to, to put music through this incredible piece. Why they chose DJ Khaled, this is something I wanted to talk about. We're going to get to it a little bit later. I don't understand how this human being has so much pull just on earth. I was going to say in the industry, fuck the industry. How is he, what, 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 how did, and you'll see what I mean in a second. If I had a very special guitar to gift to someone, I would gift it to a very talented musician or someone at the very least who knows how to play guitar. Guitar from 56 Hope Road. This guitar inspired songs that help unite the world and we hope it gives you inspiration as well. Okay. <laughs> Okay, wait, hold on. Well, before I let this land, I just, I just, I found this so funny too. He gets, he lets her get in the last word. And, and this is rare. A frame perfect strum. She is barely finished reading before he just wails on it. Listen. Unite the world and we hope it gives you inspiration as well. <laughs> Camera guy trying to salvage something, dude. Trying to like maybe we could just mute it. Just give it, give it. There you go. Come on. Long outro there. Okay, so yeah, someone just said it perfectly. DJ Khaled is confidently incorrect, always. So there's more. Some of these, like I said, some of these are from Criticals videos. Some of these I found through Reddit. But I, I want to paint a picture of this man here. So this one I found through Charlie. Here he is, DJ Khaled playing basketball, and it's hilarious. And and I just I just okay, we're gonna break this down real quick. Okay, ball goes out court. What's he do? He jumps up. It's his. I don't know if this is a real game or some kind of. I, obviously, it's not like NBA, but I don't know what this is. He's not in the the uniform. You can see the bench there. He gets, it's a celebrity game. Okay, fair. But he's clearly not playing. But he decides, oh, it's his time to shine. <laughs> now, watch it. Now, I'm worried this clip is going to get me banned. And you'll find out in a second. But let's let him cook, all right? He's got the ball. You know, he's famous. <laughs> oh, my God. Ryder just said he's like a child. Ryder, keep that energy while you watch this clip, bro. Let him cook. Maybe he's good. Oh, got away from him. Oh, there go the pants. Bro, they're not even playing with him. They're just trying to get the ball back. <laughs> Look how low his pants are. Bro, his just, just wait. Just, just, just wait, dude. <laughs> okay, I, I don't want to get banned, but I need to show this. I swear to God, by the time he takes the shot, his pants are around his fucking ankles. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> and you might be saying, well, I mean, that's, that's not his skin, that, or, that's just his underwear. <clears throat> Let's let the video play and you'll see that's very much, actually for TOS purposes, that is his underwear. <clears throat> oh, his underwear changed colors. It's now, it's, it's black now. God, he's, he's, he's like a... I don't want to be mean here, but I'm about to be very mean. He's like a special needs adult. And and I wouldn't say that about an actual special needs adult. Obviously not. I'm saying that about, uh, that about a, a, a multi-millionaire renowned producer, DJ, musician at a celebrity game. That's true. It's like everyone's... You know how like... <clears throat> You know how you humor people, some certain people, because, you know, they deserve to be happy too? Why are we humoring DJ Khaled? Why are we? I'll check. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, yes. Senor, I have that one already. I got that one already. Thank you. 
Why are we humoring him? Who is it for? He's so bad. Look at him, dude. God bless him. Hey, buckets, all right. Maybe that's why we humor him. Maybe maybe that's what it all comes down to, right? So, okay, hold on. There's more, though. There's so much more. Uh, this is a compilation. So through looking this guy up and with the help of Critical, okay, and through with the help of Reddit, I've learned more about DJ Khaled and that he has a wife who... I'm going to leave it up to you guys to, to determine if this is all shtick. In fact, that's kind of the overall thing of this. Is it a character or is it not a character? I cannot tell. I think that at a certain point, there's that, that old Reddit comic that you always see where it goes, the guy walks up to a crowd of people, Herder, look at me, look how dumb I am. And they go, hey, dude, just st you're, stop acting dumb. You look like an idiot. And he goes, haha, I was only kidding. At what point is it that? I don't know. But here is DJ Khaled's wife, and I, she sounds like she fucking hates him. And I'm, you need to watch some of these. There's a couple that send me. There's one in the pool that kills me. Listen. Baby, I got us. I got us. Don't stress me out. I got us. Support me. Baby, I got us. No. I got us. No. <laughs> no. No. All I want you to do is support me. I'll be quiet. I got us. Go away. I'm Go play away. Yourself. Honey. Honey. I want you to support me. All I'm asking is for you to support me, honey. Honey, support me. Honey, support me. Secure the bag alert. God, he's like a child, bro. Secure the bag alert. She don't mean it. She ain't gonna fall for the trap. You know I keep filming, right? <laughs> she don't mean it. You don't I promise you. Say something. She ain't gonna. She's literally shit talking him in the video, and he's talking directly to the camera. She don't mean it. She ain't never gonna disrespect me like that. She don't mean it. She don't mean it, dude. Play her song. It's a very fit Here we go. This one's so. I think this is the one that killed me. It's a very fit Baby. He is Baby. personified cringe. Thank you, Yeb. Baby. No, not now. All I want is support. Okay. Well, if you support now. me, I'll give you the world. If you support me, I'll give you the world. I'll play yourself. Mm-hmm. Every year. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> that wasn't even it. Bro, that wasn't even it. That wasn't even it. Hold on. All I want you to do is support me. I got us. I'll give you the beaches and the ocean. I'll work hard for us. Just support me. That's all I ask for. Like Chill. Stop, it's, it's, like you don't, it's like you don't care for me. Stop, it's too early. It's like you don't care for me. Bro, he's a pest. He's an absolute fucking demon. This bitch trying to sleep. I just need you to care for me. She's like, bro, I'm not even awake. Support me. Support me. Support me. Oh, support. Oh, man. Support me. Why are you tripping on me? No. New York City. New York! I, I didn't make it this far. <laughs> Do you love Bro is it bro is an NPC surrounded by NPCs. What is this interaction, dude? Oh. New York okay. City! New York! <laughs> Do you love me? Stop counting. Do you love me? Do you love me? Stop, Khaled. All right, so there's his wife, but there's a banger here that I got to show you. So here, <laughs> this one is so good, dude. Here he is, uh, uh, or here his wife is boxing. She's clearly doing it. Like maybe some exercise training, and, and DJ Khaled decides to um, start filming it. Let's take a look. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You can do it, you can do it. All that talk you talk, let's do it. I don't need uh, you in the background. Yo, chill. You need to work out. Chill, man. Work out without you talking. Go chill. Calm down. Yo, chill. Come on, let's... See, this is the thing, right? Now, I'm here in my research of DJ Khaled. I'm here at the research point, and I'm going, man, I'm kind of starting to feel bad for him. This woman hates him, <laughs> and he's, like, responding like a child would. He goes... Yo, chill. <laughs> she goes, she, she said, I don't like you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You can do it, you can do it. All that talk you talk, let's do it. Yeah, shut the f up. I ain't like you. I don't need uh, you in the background. Yo, chill, man. Work out without you talking. Go 
here. I don't need uh, you in the background. Yo, talking chill. Shit. I need to work out. Chill, man. I need to work out without you talking. Go shit, calm down. Yo, chill. <laughs> Come on. He just turns the camera on himself, bro. <laughs> you see what I mean, boys? But there's more though. There's more. So I also okay. Is this oh, we're, okay? Here, th th there's no particular one in this one. This is an 11 minute DJ Khaled being weird on his Snapchat uh, compilation. Uh, I guess best moments of him. I'm just gonna show you a couple of these, and then we're gonna go to the next one. Best deodorant in the world. All the other stuff is garbage. They use Dove. Deodorant. It's a vibe. I, get, I got lost in this video before stream. So I got lost in culture. this. <laughs> Bro, I just, it's like, what? Rub my hand, please. Stop Snapchatting. I'm not. Just rub my it's hand. Chill out. No, you document everything. You love me? I can't. You love me? <laughs> the key to more success is using the right soap. I only use Dove. Dove soap. Trust me. Trust me. You see that bamboo behind me, though? I see it. You see that bamboo? I see it. Ain't nothing like bamboo. Oh. Bless up. Pandas be like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or is that? Yeah, no, that's pandas. It's all about cocoa butter. No cologne. Rub it in True. Good. True. Rub it in your face. Rub it in your theory. Your theory got to get it, too. It's a vibe. It's, it's they will try to close the door on you. Oh, this one's good. This one's good. Hey, anyone need some inspo tonight? This one's good. Right here, listen. We gotta get it too. It's a vibe. It's, it's they will try to close the door on you. Just open it. Just open it. We don't see them. We will never <laughs> stop. See, at this point, I kind of love this man. He's kind of winning me over, it's bro. Raining. It's like when people joke that Alex is your keeper. Mm hmm. But he actually has someone there to make sure he doesn't drink the pool water. <laughs> right? Right, dude? So I can't go out there and Show water the jet ski adventure? Yes, dude. I'm so glad you guys know. Can somebody link me the jet ski adventure? I, I you know, I wasn't going to show it because I thought it was so well known and so old. But I, does anyone have uh, the jet ski adventure video, please? But it's being water. By God. Get He's like, I don't even. This video, by the way, if you're wondering what this video is right here. It's him filming the rain going, I ain't even got to water the plants today because God doing it for me. That's the video. Thanks. That's it. We weather the storm. We weather the storm. No afternoon stroll. Life is smooth. All right, we're going we're gonna to dip on. Okay, wait, I'm seeing links. Hello, is this it? Is this the jet ski video? <laughs> so... <laughs> I haven't seen this in years, bro. I haven't seen this shit in years. All right, look at look at look 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 at this. Here we go. I'm gonna let this play out. I believe this is footage where DJ Khaled got lost. He got lost on a jet ski, bro. All right, let's turn it down. Back at it. Never give up. Sure, that's them boys over there. Very focused. Not sure. This is the class. I didn't have this one on the docket because I thought it was too old. So, focus. Okay. I see him. He think he gonna get me this time? It's not gonna happen. Huh. I'm very focused. He's still, he's still what's, around. What, is he like running from the police here? What's, what's <laughs> happening here? He thinks we're gonna slip. Can't say his grooming regimen is dumb. This man is 54 years old. Wait a minute. He's 54 years old and he looks that good? He played himself. It's what you call a crazy big yacht. Now, <laughs> them boys, they lurked away, but they around. I'm not. Oh, he's 47. Is he supposed to be over here? He f I feel like he's already lost. They're everywhere, everywhere, bro. They're everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> like he's running from the Not law. falling for the trap. They everywhere. Stay focused. Ride with me. Shout out my brother Rose. You oh, see how this oh, pulled up in them skis? Oh, Rose, you see them yachts? Rich forever. Oh, 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 you think it's a game? I'm out here, boy. You know, we all oh, neighbors. 
We have Rose's uh, crib uh, pulled up uh, on uh, the jet skis, about to eat some lunch. Shout out to Amaranth, the chef. You see, shout out to Amaranth. God damn, he's got poop gold too. How you doing? Uh oh, he's caught. Oh no, he's caught, bro. <clears throat> Another day, bro. I it's dark. In a minute, <laughs> I think this is where he starts getting lost. Boys. There ain't going to be no lights to navigate us to where we need to go. I'm going to check in with y'all. All right. Sorry, maybe I'm ignorant. How do you get lost? Just go to the light. Like there's a fucking city behind you, bro. Put the flash on the phone. You got no Jay-Z, tell her to call me. <laughs> okay, where is he, bro? This fucking... <laughs> the key is to make it. The key is to make it. It's so Always dark have out faith. here. We don't know where the hell we at, but the key is to make it. The key is never <laughs> give up. It's not easy to win. I know that. It's so real out here right now. Okay, I think he is lost now, admittedly. The only reason why you see everything <coughs> is because I got the flash on. True. We will succeed. The key is not to drive your jet ski in the dark. <laughs> it's against the law, not even just that. He's looking right. scared. Okay, okay, okay. Where the fuck is he now, dude? I feel like this shit ain't somewhere where you can normally get. This shit real out here, boy. Why is he... St okay, he's getting further from the city. This shit real out here. <laughs> this shit. <laughs> See, at this point, it is scary now, but I don't know how you get to this point. Like, it has to be... It, ha it has to be a choice, right? <laughs> I have no clue where he is. Just the prey emoji, dude. <laughs> yeah, he got real quiet, didn't he? God is good. <sighs> we made it. They never said it was easy to win. True, bro. He made it. Feels good to be back for the path to have more success. Feels great. Lion! God damn, bro! Oh, that was quite the adventure. I really feel like that. He he believes God saved him. If I, I I'm just. I hear my mates. If I had to guess, I feel like that was God trying to kill him. Attention, we have a 5020 abnormal peanut M and M floating into the Atlantic. Should we pick him up? Did you just call him a peanut M and M. Hold on, hold on. I got it. Hold on. I got a. I got a message to the maids. Give me a second. I got a message to the maids. Give me a second. I gotta tell them to not throw away the poop. <laughs> Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Uh... Give me a second. Give me a second. There's a lot of shit right now in the living room, and I gotta tell the maids to not touch that. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> We're almost done with our DJ Khaled thing. Uh, more DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled is a, a modern times Socrates. Alright, real quick. What else do I have here? Okay, there's two more things I want to show you. So here's the first one. Um, <laughs> DJ Khaled did the, like a GQ responding to people uh, uh, on Twitter. And there, he talks about the jet ski incident, which is great. But my favorite one is this. It here we go. So, <laughs> all right, watch this. I know it's so critique, so crazy. Another one. Biggest lesson I learned from DJ Khaled: even if working out doesn't work out, you keep working out. Absolutely, just different type of workouts. Uh, first of all, let's talk about health working out. Me, I like to do cardio workouts once in a while as much as possible, because I want to stay healthy. I want to make sure that 
I, I, I do right for my body to give me some type of movement. Some people be like, yo, Cali, I don't see you don't lose weight because I don't lose. You know what I'm saying? All I do is win. He's, I mean, okay. He, see what I mean? I kind of love this guy, bro. <laughs> like, like, is it all just a troll? Is it? <laughs> is it all just a troll? I don't know. Is it a bit? You see what I'm saying? It's too good to be true. Let's hear that one more time if you missed it. I want to make sure that uh, I, I do right for my body to give me some type of movement. Some people be like, yo, Cali, I don't see you don't lose weight because I don't lose. You know what I'm saying? All I do is win. <laughs> Here's the thing, right? He is either a, a marketing genius or he is fa he's falling up. Hold on. there's I didn't even have this one, but I want to... See, you, you hear that and you go, okay, this, this kid is smart. I'm the kid, he's 47. This dude is smart as hell, right? You hear that. And then... You watch a video like this and wow. you go, okay, okay, he's not smart. Look at this. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> he got <laughs> Someone in chat said, bro got lost on a jet ski all day and still says all I do is win. <laughs> True. All right. All right. This is where I go. It's not a bit. It can't be a bit because this doesn't even help his career. This makes him look stupid. Wow. Can you tell everybody what this is? This is the fuck this dude had his beard what is colored in with a sharpie. Okay, yes, his beard is weirdly colored in, but I, I listen, I'm not gonna judge him on that. This is the baklava, sir. What is it? Baklava, Greek, uh, Arab, Greek, Greek, Arab, Greek. Arab, we call it baklava, 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 baklava. Right. So my sound is accurate, accurate. It's a real sound, and I made sure of that. Cause and I think you did a great job from your circumstance. What's the word? Circus. Circumstance. Circumstances. 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 Circum. No, just you could do it. You can get it. Circum. There's some words I can't say. Circum. Circumstances. Stances. Stances. Circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get it next time. Y'all know what it means. Red Raptor Live. Bro, you making fun of DJ Khaled. But lost 600 subs. Making sure you know he has another jet oh, ski video boy. where Here he gets it stuck on a tree. Red Raptor, you've been subbed for 30 he months, bro. Of an idiot save on. You, you, you've been subbed for 30 months. Or is it? Are you at the point now of hating me? So let's. I mean, do I even need to go into this? Okay. Do we, do we want to get into this? Is this something we're going to go into right now? Do we want to do this? A true fan. He's baiting. Okay, then I won't take the bait then. No, I am going to take the bait. I'm absolutely going to take the fucking bait. Okay, we're in the DJ Khaled uh, 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 comedy routine here. Have we mentioned anything about his success? In fact, I think we can all agree DJ Khaled will forever be more successful than anybody in this stream, including myself combined. What, what, what is the... First off, second off... So, 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 Listen, okay, let, what, what the fuck does my sub count fluctuating per stream, which by the way, it has for years. And I never thought, I never thought it would be a way to insult me to say my sub count has gone down by 600. Here's what I'm gonna say to you, red retard in chat, okay? How about this? Show me your sub count, all right? Let's bring more shit into the mix that's not relevant. How about you show me your sub count, all right? Let's start there and then we can start talking. Yes, DJ Khaled is more successful than any of us will ever be. That doesn't mean it's not funny that he can't say the word circumstance. All right? You're getting one guide? My brother in Christ, I made a career off getting one guy. I'm going to get one guide every single time I go live. And also, I didn't lose 600 subs. I lost 700. That's how stream goes, baby. Every time. And guess what? We get him back. Every time. Thank you, Jake Spank, for the five subs. Appreciate it. Where was I? Circumstanism. Working out on an elliptical and yeah. I'm swimming. And the problem is DJ Cal owes nobody no money. First of all, I have so much jewelry. I got more jewelry and it's not even about the jewelry. Cause you know, I actually, <laughs> I, I think that's what makes DJ Cal so fascinating is that if he wasn't successful, he wouldn't be noteworthy. Thank you, Dan Omega for the 10 subs. Jesus, thank you. Uh, 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 high drinks for the five. If, if DJ Khaled wasn't successful and he was like this, he would just be 
like every other idiot. I think that's what makes him so fun to talk about is he is probably one of the richest people I've ever seen who ju I really think is is barely functioning. It actually blows my mind. Shout out fucking Indian Fire! At the end of the day, it's, duty. It's, at the end of the day turn it over we have the song right there the symphony and that's i'm so hood symphony well you know i make a bunch of sympathy you know what i'm saying like that's what i do my anthems i'm like i do exactly what this did it's one of my favorite records you know that right it's crazy was that it okay hold on and then i saw i was like maybe maybe dj Khaled is like english second language so he struggles so i looked up well, hold on what language does dj Khaled speak you're gonna love this i got a good laugh out of this um <laughs> when I look <laughs> uh <clears throat> I know this probably isn't true. I know that this pro there's probably more to this. Hold on, I just gotta take a photo of it. Sneaky sandwich, thank you for the five. And I don't know if I already think Shadow Puppet, thank you for the five as well. My head cannon is he's actually a really committed troll. But is he though? Because his whole I don't think he is. I don't think he has I think his ego wouldn't let it. This cracked me up. I know he probably speaks more than this, but when you type in what language does DJ Khaled speak, I love that it just comes up with English. Because it's like, I, maybe I, we might want to ax that one from the, uh, from the list. Or at the very least, I wouldn't lead with that one, right? Like if he's ESL, which is totally fine. I'm not going to make fun of someone who speaks more than one language, right? Um, uh, 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 but <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He's not. I don't actually know what he is because it doesn't say. Exportionist, thank you for the five. Appreciate you. All right. Uh, last but not least, I saved this one for the end. Uh, and I think it works perfectly because the, the one guy in my chat, my 30-month sub, who uh, I, I don't know if it was an attempt to bring me down or an attempt to elevate DJ Khaled, right? Uh, to, I, I do find it weird when people, you know, defend people like DJ Khaled. So I saved the best one for last just to get people to defend him first. And then let's see if you still keep that energy up. DJ Khaled explains in an interview why he doesn't go down on women. And guess what guys? It is because he's sexist. So uh, I wanna be very clear here. If you guys don't, if you guys have personal, personal sexual preferences, I think that's totally fair. If you say, hey, I, I personally don't like giving oral or receiving oral, that's totally fair. I think that's totally valid. Let's continue to see why DJ Khaled uh, doesn't give head. And then you can tell me if it's still okay to make fun of him. Um, but he is successful, so I guess he's immune to that, right, chat? Uh, you're never going to believe it, but rapper, mo also, motivational Snapchatter. Is that like a self-given name? Uh, Aurora, thank you for the five. And Weight Watchers social media ambassador. What is he? Wa Does he watch it go up? I don't understand. DJ Khaled is not the feminist icon he may have once seemed. Who who thought he was a feminist icon? On Friday, clips began recirculating. A Breakfast Club which said uh, oral he, that he doesn't perform oral sex on women because he makes money. Okay, this might be clickbaity. So let's see what he actually said. A woman should praise the man, the king. He says, "If you holding it down for your woman, I feel like the woman should praise." And a man should praise the queen. But hold on. Okay, so, so far, you know what? I'm all for praising your partner, your partner praising you. But, you know, my way of praising is called, ha ha, how was dinner? You like the house you living in? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This isn't, that can't lead to anything unhealthy, right? You like all them clothes you getting? <laughs> I'm taking care of your family. I'm taking care of my family. You know, I'm putting in work. So you're saying you don't go down, the interview clarified. Nah, never. I don't do that. Multiple times before clarifying that it would not be okay if a woman refused to go down on him. Go on chat, try to giga chat that one, right? I'm gonna be real here. You can sit here and giga chat everything else, but to sit here and say, I'm not gonna go down on women because that's not my place. But then to say, no, no, no. If you date me, you are obligated to give me head. Bro, that is like beyond not okay. That is so fucking crazy. That is absolutely unhinged. And see, here's the thing. Takes like that, here, here's what I'm gonna say. Takes like that are what lead me to believe not only is DJ Khaled not memeing, that he is just kind of a buffoon. 
He is a buffoon who has fallen into unbelievable success, which is what leaves him open to making fun of. I mean, this is so unhinged. It's so unhinged. I don't do that multiple times. Like, it's like, it's crazy too that he's like, he's almost insulted that the, I, like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You wouldn't caught me, catch me dead in a pussy like that. It's like how, it's like how we jokingly will say, bro, I don't fuck chicks. That's gay. Girls fuck guys. That's gay as fuck. I don't fuck girls. I fuck dudes because dudes fuck women and that's straight. So I only fuck dudes. It's like that. But he like actually means it. Now, I want to be very clear here to my chat. If you're sitting there going, Wubby, I don't like giving head. I just don't like it. It's not my thing. That's totally fair. But you cannot sit here and say, I don't like giving head because it's not my place. And on top of that, my woman is obligated to perform it on me or that's it. The fuck? Also, I'm just going to throw my hat in the ring. Nobody asked. Nobody asked, right? Nobody asked, but how the fuck, how are there, how are there dudes out there who don't like eat, giving head to women? What do, what, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We, listen, so much of dude decision making is motivated by the pussy, right? And you ain't even gonna, you ain't, you ain't even, you haven't even put it to your lips and you're gonna talk? Uh, uh, and also, okay, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry, I'm gonna call some of the dudes out in chat right now. Dudes in chat are saying stinky. Boys, you hanging out with the wrong I'll bet women. You the cop up he's talking you, to didn't even pull him over. He uh, was just uh, bugging uh, the cop. Uh, 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 the people saying smells. First off, you hanging out with the listen. The, I, I can't, second of all, sometimes a little stink is all I need, baby. Sometimes the stink makes the mouth water. But you know what? You know what? Maybe I. Maybe you and I are different. Because if there's a stink, if there's something like, oh, she's had a long day. My partners, at least historically speaking, understand and respect me enough to go, I'm going to hop in the shower real quick. If a guy doesn't like eating pussy, that guy has never had good pussy. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm actually kind of mind blown that, that, that listen, I get if it's a preference, you're more than welcome to say it's a preference. Okay. M just like, right. For example, I'm just going to pull a random one out of my head. Like not liking feet is a preference. Okay. But to say, I don't like eating pussy cause it stinks, bro. You hanging around stinky pussy. There's I'm sorry. This is just the truth. You are hanging around stinky pussy straight up. And I am also going to say, okay, this is my final thought on it. If you are not into giving head, then you need, I'm sorry, you cannot expect head. Just saying, um, that's all I'm saying. Now, granted, if your partner is okay with it and is still willing to dome you up and you go, hey, it's really not for me, that's great. That's great, healthy sexual communication, right? But you don't get to say, no, 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 I'm not putting my head near that. Why are you not sucking my dick? That tell, uh, listen, that, I, the, my decision to talk about this on stream was finding out that DJ Khaled refuses to give oral to his wife and obligates her to give it back. That was me going, it's a realization for me. I went, oh, this guy sucks. No, no, no. This guy actually kind of sucks. He, and he, I'm sorry. No wonder she hates him. Bro, she would, oh. Khaled, advice. It, it, listen, hear my words, okay? She, she will be up. First thing in the morning, I mask off filming your Snapchats for you. If you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you, if you know what I'm saying? She will support you, bro. <clears throat> yeah, he's really good at eating. He would, yeah, right, you would think, right? You would think you would apply. <clears throat> Just because I don't eat it doesn't mean my wife's pussy isn't good, you fucker. See, you're projecting because I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to the people in chat who said, I don't eat pussy because it's stinky. So you're projecting right now, unfortunately. I think you are, because I wasn't talking to you, and you've inserted yourself into the in the conversation. I'm, I'm sorry. If, 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 I, I, this is a fact. Eating pussy is the only thing that makes life worth living. I, 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 people are getting mad. I, guys, if your reason for not eating pussy is that it stank, you, you're you're dealing with the you're not. I'm sorry. That's. <laughs> Either you're inexperienced, you don't know how to sexually communicate. I'm, I should, I'm sorry. 
vagina doesn't have to stink i don't know am i tripping like ladies i know there are women that watch me at least three am i tripping like it, I, I, this is not a pro yes obviously she gets off a day of work she didn't shower you know fine yeah i stink too but if i want non-stinky sex we can hop in the shower or you can hop in the shower i can hop in the shower and the problem is so i i'm i'm blown away like what Thank you. We all stinky. I'm stinky right now, right? But I also wouldn't expect vile dome right now. I'm a stinky man right now. I need a shower. So that's where the stanky leg dance comes from. What's your opinion on eating a horse and a turtle? Didn't ask. What the fuck? Will be your floor is stinky? Yeah, but I don't expect, you know, someone to suck my floor. I love a good a pussy after a long day of work. It needs flavor. Whew. That made my spine shiver. What the fuck? Whew. Christ, brother. Oh my God. Thank you, Aristos, for the 10 subs. Appreciate you. Red Raptor gifted 50? Now, Red Raptor. Now, Red Raptor. Hold on. Hold on. Red Raptor, my biggest hater, just gifted 50 subs. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on now, buddy. Hold on, all right, he, he's all right. Maybe, you know, you know, you took his bait. Bro, I'll take, uh, dude, I'll take the bait if he's gonna throw 50 subs. Bait, please, bait me more. <laughs> Thank you, brother, I appreciate it. I feel like, <clears throat> maybe I'm wrong, but I take that as I took your message wrong and I ran with it. And this is your way of saying, Wubby, I'm not yet a hater, but you're like one or two bad takes away from being a hater. Is that fair? Not eating pussy because it stinks uh, is big retard energy. I, 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 I'm going to put up a poll, but I, 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 I'm still, maybe I'm getting one guide, but I'm still seeing like a higher percentage of chat than I would expect. Still saying that I'm wrong on this. A strong, unfamiliar and unpleasant odor, especially one that continues for several days and smells fishy isn't normal. A smelly vaginal odor may be a symptom of a health problem, especially when it accompanies other symptoms like a grayish white vaginal discharge, burning, and itching. Hold on. I'm putting up a poll. Okay, this is gonna be a hot take. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I am wording this in such a way to, to start such a fire. <clears throat> uh, uh. Not eating pussy because of stank is tr is a childish excuse and can be easily fixed. <laughs> Some of y'all's dick and balls don't smell too great, but usually we just suck it up and keep yeah. going. Yeah, yes, late. So okay. the complaints that vags are smelly are Who's little dick energy. Yes, 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 yes. Wh whoever just said that is a queen. Okay, boys, I'm going to tell you something right now, okay? I do recognize that. I think that it is, I, I don't know for sure, this is, a, this is an anecdotal thing I'm going to say right now. I do think if, I think that a, 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 a pussy has potential to get stinkier faster, okay? Anecdotally speaking. That being said, all right, I have experienced, and I'm sure anyone who's ever been in a long relationship have experienced, your girl not requesting you to shower and just getting in there stanking all. If that's ever happened to you, okay? From that moment on, it changes you as a man. And you know what it changes you? It goes, you know what? You know what? I need to, uh, I, I need to step up to the plate now, right? Now I'm moving on. What? Wait, what? You're moving? Okay, hold on. This is a, f this is, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I like being clean when I'm receiving. I do. It makes me feel more secure. I get insecure if I can smell my own balls when someone's going crazy. But I will say, listen, I've been in, you know, we've all been in long-term relationships, okay? And I've had ladies go feral, and they say the stink adds culture. And let me tell you, you don't want to know what it does to me? It turned me into a man. It turned me into a man. Moist, okay? just use code Wubby at checkout for my Wubby dildo with authentic Wubby okay. stench included. <clears throat> Wabi has had nev nev burr. I don't know what that means. Uh, 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 you, I'm not saying that's a requirement. I'm just saying it made me realize, you know, there's no better feeling that some soft pissy lips on your mouth. 
If that doesn't fix every problem in your life, you're not living. <clears throat> okay, chat. I feel us so validated. This poll has never been more one-sided. And I would like to say, if you're one of that five, six percent, look around. This is the point I'm making, okay? This is the point I'm making. If you are still in that camp, you know what you could be? You could be right or you could you could get laid, okay? I'm sorry. Penal this is discharges the are pre-ejaculate and ejaculate. Smegma, which is a substance often- All right. This is, I'm just keeping it, I'm just keeping it. You can be right, and you can sit there on your high horse and think you're right, or you can get laid, chat. I'm talking just to the 6% right now. Okay? And I'm not, listen, listen, if you're someone who likes to go to the club and get crazy and go home with somebody and have a one night stand, you're right, I'm, I'm probably not gonna be nose deep. I'm not gonna do that. That's that, I, I, I don't trust that. I'm talking, you know, you and your partner, as the, you know, I would, I would not, I'll, t <laughs> listen, listen, there, I'll say this, I'll say this, I'll say that, I'll end it with this, I'll end it with this. You ever been bar hopping with, with, with your partner or ever just gone out for a night with your partner and you come home and uh, it's time to get frisky, You're both a little drunk Imagine maybe. pretending that you don't eat pussy due to the smell, but that it's, the real reason is that You've only seen rumors online about vagina smell on the internet. <laughs> Googling at sexy bobs at and naked ladies after loaning your older brother's iPad. <laughs> Trust me, chat. This is coming from the guy that once had so much smegma, I thought my tip was going to fall off. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm a bit of a germaphobe. And, and you know, if, if, if you were on a... Listen, 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 listen. BR is gonna go watch porn specifically about eating that stanky wet pussy. <laughs> There's a difference between all day musk and sunny seafood dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. He's true though. He's true. There is listen, when you love somebody, Chad, I'm gonna get to let you in on a little secret. When you love somebody, that's sunny that's that's fun that, fish fact. The smell oh, of fish is caused by trimethylamine <laughs> oxide. Oh, I didn't when know that. fish are killed, bacteria and fish enzymes convert TMAO into trimethylamine, no. which gives off the characteristic fishy odor, also known as pussy. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Here's what I'm gonna say, right? Okay, listen. When you love somebody, that marinated stank. Listen, it doesn't always do it, but sometimes that marinated stink, it hits. That's all I'm saying. It doesn't always have to. Sometimes I want that shit smelling like, you know, coconut butter, right? And let me tell you, I'm feasting. I'm feasting then, bro. I'm a savage. I don't even care. I'm sad. But, but sometimes when you love someone, that, that stink. Now, granted, you know, that stink has a hard line where it's an instant. Let's hop in the shower, right? And they know. They know when they're at that point. There's the, we're all we're all adults here, hopefully. <laughs> but you know, sometimes it stinks. We'll hop in the shower, right? But up until that point, how long is a shower? Uh, are we doing things in the shower, or are we just both recognizing that this is pregame? I'm. I mean, I'm in and out in two minutes. Then we're not here to actually. We're just. I mean, you just take the loofah, you put your dove on there, foam that. But I don't actually know. I don't. I try to be respectful and not, you know, do a, a eye in the sky on a girl cleaning out her vagina. I don't know. Do people douche? What do we even do? I don't know. But either way, it comes out smelling like fucking. I mean, it's crazy, bro. <clears throat> Can you have a word with my boyfriend? <laughs> Is this an epidemic? <laughs> Can you have a word with your boyfriend? Like, what do you mean? What kind of relationships are y'all in where you can't say this to them? I, what? I like really don't understand. Like, like it's an epidemic. I think the real epidemic is the amount of dudes who think they're obligated or owed head. Son, you're right. I used to eat your mother's stank all the time. Remember your eighth birthday party when you couldn't find us for 15 minutes? Well, I was eating her stank. Hey guys, want to hear about how much pussy I eat? Let me tell you, I eat pussy like a pussy vampire awakening after an 800 year slumber only to realize they've built a fully staffed nunnery around me. <laughs> I powered a small town in Guadalupe for three weeks once just by eating pussy with an electrical lead attached to my jaw. They call me El Pustolero whenever I go back these... What the fuck was that, bro? What the shit? 
bro. Same, bro. Same. I mean, really though. Same. God damn. Mm -mm -mm. Chat, I love y'all. And 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 I want to make it because I know there's gonna be a post on the subreddit. Make it very clear. Oops, wonder why you can't grow a good mustache or beard. It's because you don't <laughs> eat pussy. True, bro. True. Dude, it's the it's the it's the it's it's the uh, what do you call it? Not the stain of victory, but I guess it is a bit of a stain, isn't it? It's this like I mean I'm this right here. I'm tasting that shit for weeks. Okay, I'm I'm kidding, but but for real though, for real though, I'm not shaming dudes who have a sexual preference and prefer, or women even who have a sexual preference to prefer not eating pussy. I have no problem with that. We're only talking about the weird childish stank excuse all right chat can we move on are we good i love the How taste of sushi and copper um nom 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 so oh here we go i already called it so on the subreddit <coughs> hold on hold on hold on on the subreddit this rant is making me more uncomfortable than anything before it this person doesn't eat pussy it's like hearing your cousin talk what for a really long time okay see i think maybe this is where this is the problem this is the problem. I'm not your fucking cousin, okay? I, I, how have you somehow landed in this type of relationship where I, this is like watching your cousin talk? And also, not to not to mention, not to mention, if you're not comfortable, how is this the line, bro? My dad on TTS has talked about my grandma finger blasting herself like 14 times in the last month. And you draw the line at me saying, hey, if you don't eat pussy because it's stinky, you're a child. That's where you draw the line? And why am I your cousin? Who the fuck are you? Your name on Reddit is kindly o kindly ol pornographer and this is the line? What does that even mean? <sighs> sorry, if I ru if I'm ruining Thanksgiving for you guys, I am I'm sorry. Uh, that fun fish it. fact, sadly fish do not have a pussy. <laughs> To the small dick percentage that don't Peanut go price. down. I smell butthole when I eat the Why? pussy. It only makes it better. Oh, that was good. Okay, I, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I didn't understand what this meant. There's now a post on the... Okay, this is worded poorly. To the... <laughs> calling dudes who, who don't eat pussy small dick energy. Um, I understand that. You come down on her, take off but, her panties, whilst ice cubes wiggle in your mouth nice and tasty, as if your mouth I'm, is a I, south I pole or something. You'll sure this. spit penguins out if you keep the cubes in there. All right. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, I want to. I, I, we will use this post. I want to hear other takes. Actually, in fact, hold on. Um, I, we haven't done this in a bit. Anybody in chat watching right now want to hit up Peanut and explain why they won't eat pussy? <laughs> Maybe not, but you know what? If somebody does reach out, we'll go forward with it. If not, I'm just going to move on. Uh, sure. Dad, I yeah. love it when that thing starts talking back like a cat purring by. Here's a Keanu rendition Re of DJ Khalid about to go down on his wife. And then and another one in, another one in. All right. This is a post that says DJ, K or uh, fuck, Keanu Reeves is legitimately talented. Is it, Oh, because he did all the real shooting training. Is that his wife, bro? Bro! Bro! See, chat? See what Lovey. I mean, though? This reminds no? me of the time I smelled oh. my grandma fingering herself. Okay. All right. No, it's not. All right. My fault. My fault. My fault. No, she works there and she's super hot. I didn't say that. You said that. I could tell. I mean, obviously, I could tell Keanu Reeves understands, like, he had to practice drills and shit because he... It was him doing, like, these speed reloads in the second movie. Like, I could tell he knew what he was doing. Although, you know what bothers me? He, you know what he kept doing that bothered me? That I was like, okay, who, who, that's his sister? Well, all right. He kept, he would load a gun, he would load a, a pistol, magazine in, and, and then he would chamber around, and then for no reason, he would check the chamber. Is there a reason for that that I'm too ignorant to understand? Why do you, who does that? What is the purpose of doing that? He would pull the slide back slightly to check the chamber. What, can you tell me the reason for that? It's called a press check. He's checking for jams. Oh, see, see, okay, I learned something. Make sure it's not jam. Ah, okay, all right, Chad, all right, all right. Shooter ready? All right, Stay you don't by. trust no gun. Uh, 
Bro, this looks so fun. I want to do this on stream. We should do this on stream. Wow, that was beautiful. 10 seconds flat. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, I'm not. Dude, it'd be so fun, right? We got to do it. I don't know where we could do it that's close, but um, a good. That looks so fun to do, like drills like that. Oh, that'd be so fun on stream. We'll figure it out. 10 seconds flat. Look up John Wick's wife or, or Keanu. Didn't she die or something? Keanu Reeves. Sunday ritual is wife. worth a check. They're getting wild. Born in Beirut and raised in Toronto. Reeves began acting in... Th Wait, that's not about him. That's so sad that she died. And her child. Oh my God, that's so heartbreaking. Uh, he seems like a nice guy. I really hope he is. I don't know him in real life, but he seems like... Okay, check the subreddit for the Sunday ritual. Let's see. They're getting spicy, apparently. Uh, oh... Oh, oh my God. <clears throat> I want to show this one so bad. Her doing a handstand with her. I want to show it so bad, dude. <clears throat> oh my God. There are nine photos here. God, he gets blacker every time. I'll let you guys look, look up any it. whale fall. Crabs are always there. It is pretty much a guarantee. Those dumb googly eyed bitches will be feasting on dead whale. Exoskeleton what? dumbasses. Oh, we about this I need to refresh this uh, post. I want to see if anybody's commented on on. Here we go. Why I don't eat pussy? I don't eat pussy because I'm not gay. <laughs> Bro, this post on the sub is so funny. All these motherfuckers out here refusing to eat. I'm out here starving. <laughs> Bro, true. Bro, true. Bro, I'm out here. I'm out here starving, bro. <laughs> All right. Um, are there any comments before we move on? <clears throat> I'm single and alone. That's why I don't. Some women just aren't into it. Okay, but then you wouldn't fall into the category. Dude, I saw a post on the subreddit. Someone tried to atrioc me, bro. Someone tried to atrioc me, bro. Uh, there was a, I, I cut to something on, on screen and somebody made a post on Reddit that was like, did you guys see there was a frame of like a, a scantily clad uh, like anime character when Wubby cut away? Yeah, brother. Hey, first off, if you see that, be cool. All right. Yes. I look at pornography. Who do you, listen? I never want to brand myself in a way that if I have pornography, that you're listen. What do you want? I like incest porn, okay? I like fucking the delivery driver, all right? What, what do you want? Okay. Second off, the the Mitsuri thing, guys. Hello, it's my fucking desktop background, you moron. Some dude was so uppity on the subreddit trying to find me, you know. <clears throat> What's his name? I could give you links, guys. I mean, we could start like a. I could just start posting once a day. Like, here's a good one I found on the subreddit. That's tame. I don't think I'd have, see. I think it's tame for me, right? What do you think that would? How do you think incest porn would affect Ludwig's legacy? You know, how, what do you think about that? Those were sexy photos he took of me. They were not deep fake. True booty. True. But see, I don't think incest porn would affect my legacy at all because there is none. We could just, you know, it doesn't matter. All right. Um, I'm gonna check my DMs. And we're gonna. We haven't, dude. Two hours in, haven't started any content. How's that for a Wubby stream? Isn't that what you guys want? Isn't that what you guys want? That's what you want, bro. I can end right now and you guys would be like, that was a good stream. But guess what? We're not done. We have a little bit of media share left. Do you guys want me to finish it? We have about 10 minutes left of media share. Do you want me to finish it? <laughs> so is it stop talking and play the media share? Dude, you gotta ask yourself why you're watching the stream. It's never gonna stop. I'm never going to stop doing full-blown rant streams. It will never stop. All right, we have, uh, let's do our, let's finish up the last 10 minutes of media share, okay? Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. whoa, guys, chill, 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 chill. There we go, all right. All right, all right, we have 10 minutes left of media share. Uh, uh hold on, nobody move, hold on. Here we go. 
Nobody move. Here we go. Nobody move. What is happening? What am I hearing? What am I hearing? What did I just hear? Was that TTS? What was that? All right, here we go. We have, oh, I'm sorry. We have 12 minutes and 44 seconds of media share. Is that something we can all handle tonight? Can we handle 12 minutes of media share? Um, I just realized, I just realized that um, I've been loudly talking about like this. this I can't stop thinking about it. Do you think the, the movie theater hot dog looked like that, uh, that because they expect people to eat it in the dark? Huh? <laughs> Dude, I found the most autistic viewer. I, I, can I just say, dude, who said that? Yeah, I, I love, I love you to death. I love that you're still thinking about it, and you brought up a really good point. You brought up a really good point about it. Is it is the expectation that you're in the movie? Like, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go get up and complain? You're probably just gonna eat it. You're probably just gonna eat it and suck down a drink, right? Anyway, the the, the maids have been probably loudly hearing me talk about pussy eating for like 30 minutes now and I, I can hear them outside my door and there's a point where I was screaming about just like oh and you know I'm pretty sure I, I think that worst case scenario I think I think they're gonna be lining up outside my door you know what I'm saying I think I got a few more customers you know what I'm saying that maid's about to really clean you know you know just <clears throat> Ask their opinion. Chad would be mad at me if I did that. All right, let's media share. Here we go. 12 minutes. Oh, is this the sneeze guy? <laughs> oh, ew. This is the end of... God damn. God, look at how much shit is coming out of him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're not safe here. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, brother. Good Lord. You whisper in Order now. You get the camera. You get the printer. Great horse. X optical zoom. Look at this horse. Schneider lens. Schneider lens. Photo printer. SD card. Look at that horse. <laughs> the, the Schneider lens, baby. For example, what do you guys see there? I see a guy who would eat a hot dog. That I potentially... Who is that? I would see a guy that would eat a hot dog, potentially. You both might be right. But what I see... Something a little different. Okay? I see... $23,646... In organ donations. Kidney, $7,000. Heart, $5,000. Small intestine, $1,500. So and that's the black market up. tax free. Opportunity is right under your nose. Or should I say, right under... A bridge. A bridge. Yes, dude. Okay, that's true. Kidnap homeless people and harvest them. I'm Tell them, all right, there's a laser down there. You just need to <laughs> clo press the button and quickly come to the thing and get over the laser and you'll be fine. So he presses it. He runs. He never looks up at where the door is. And you just, you jumped as high as you could have. Yeah. It felt like. It felt like you. It you looked tried, like you tried. Oh, man, come on. Come brother, on, come brother, on, come brother. On, come brother, on, brother on. how you do, do win? Whoa, do, whoa, whoa. On, Hold bro. on, man. Hold on. That's my work shoes, I bro. know, man. You worked a long time. Doesn't need to sound like that. So good. You want a tattoo, Cody? Yeah, absolutely. I do. <laughs> Boom. That's pretty damn good so far. <gasps> I, I didn't know this my was out. Logo. Dude, yes. <laughs> okay, I can talk about this. I didn't even. Okay, Cody, the dude who did my leg tattoo, he went to Mr. Beast. Uh, there was a whole thing. It's <laughs> an ink. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Ready? There he is. That felt good. Oh my god. I was like, dude, do you feel me like shaking? Uh -huh. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot about that. We were t okay, he was talking to me about it. Like, he was he was getting on a flight when he was telling me about it. And then he was updating me when he was there, but I forgot what he was doing there. You're in the highlight? What? I should have had him ask about the teeth. No, he was telling me he's like, I can't do anything. I don't want to fuck this up. How long is on TTS? All right, it's coming down. Three, two, one. Don't react. You give it power if you react, chat. Do not react. So in tasting, what we do is take a small amount right off the top. 
It Aerated. doesn't take much. A classic. An actual classic. Do you know what happened to CeeLo Green? Do you guys remember this guy? Do you know what happened to him? I'm pretty sure this is all... I don't know if this is true. I provided... I'm not reporting this as if it's true. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure he, like, drugged and, uh, you know, you know, did some illegal things uh, 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 to... Uh, it's a whole thing. Look into it. Look it up. There's a YouTube video on it. I provided you with a couple different Ancient. pictures. Ancient. Um, uh, such as like like the one where I'm like mm, and it says I saw what you did I'm surprised so many people know who that is still that's crazy I always, I always play this on flights I'm not even lying if you see me on a flight I'm probably playing that not at that level but goddamn oh my god Chun Li jiggling is this gonna be it finally see 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 it's real, boys. The One Piece. Okay. Don't worry, guys. We only have eight minutes left. Thank Christ. I know that it? wasn't Chun Li. What's that smell? <laughs> <gasps> it's you. Ooh. Tell me, you just playing in the woods? Cause you smell like trees, and I love hey, trees. Hey, yeah, dude. <sighs> yes, sir. It's that PSC. Yeah, the bear appreciates good pussy. I'm going to jail. I'm going to jail. <laughs> he just like me. So in tasting, what why did somebody donate that twice? Okay, hold on, let's read this. Boys literally have zero excuse for not having communication skills because I've seen y'all play video games and describe where you're at like it's life or death. Okay, first off, let me dunk on you. All right, communication skills in video games are not only not given, okay, but y'all suck at communicating. How many times have y'all, how many times have y'all been like, oh, he's, he's one, he's one, he's one, he's lit. And then I, 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 I switched my pistol and I started shooting him. What'd you hit him for? Uh, 15. Bro, all the video games have taught me is that every single dude is lying. What's that, babe? You think someone's following you? Here, let me look at the window. Oh, yeah, one behind. No, two behind. Two behind. They're pushing. <laughs> They're pushing. They've got a gun. Oh, he tapped you twice. Oh, my God, you're knocked. You're knocked. They're going for a finisher. Oh, my God, you're dog shit. <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was good. Yo, she had abs he... though. Like that. Why? <laughs> Why is he like what is what? Oh. Why is he not white? Oh. <laughs> Why is he not white? Whoa! Wow. Okay, alright. Alright. Fliji. Fliji. Ouija. Minji Deliji Fliji The stewardess said Both pilots Can you fly this plane and land it? Such a Surely you can't be serious I am serious And don't call me Shirley 
<laughs> oh, this scene's so good. Bro. <laughs> See ya. See ya. What was that? What was the point of that? I don't I don't understand. True. True. <sighs> <sighs> I hate being the noisy pooper, dude. And it's so instead of ordering a special extraction tool, I've actually created my own a do it yourself extraction tool that uses yep. a noodle needle nose pliers. And why, why does that video keep getting donated? Like, I don't understand. Alright. Schwan. Two. Two and a half. Seven. Fourteen teen. I don't know this. Twenty one. Twenty seven half. Twenty seven thirty seven. What do you Chat, say? Chat seems to know it. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Pizza, 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 pizza. <laughs> Bowser says the B word. Uh -oh. That's the most important thing of all, winning the trust of people that have put their trust in us. Many of them for the first I time, and the Boris had my full support as he does that. Well, I don't know why he's talking to a tree. <laughs> oh, classic. I'm just gonna, I don't even, what, what is that? Who cares? What was that? I'm skipping that. Dynamite is so unstable that wouldn't that doesn't even make any sense. Oh no. Two minutes left, Jesus guys. Don't Christ. Worry. Hey everybody, it's your favorite. <laughs> Ooh, burping. Okay, I'm not even gonna no, we're not even gonna let that land. Sorry. <clears throat> what you see here is at least in summer or in the fall, one of the nicest views of Ljubljana. It looks like berries, green leaves, etc. On both sides, nice. Is this yeah. One Piece? Bro, is you know this One you? Piece? Okay, all right. I mean, maybe you guys are onto something. I think that's fair. I, I, I'm, maybe we give it a chance, Tim's right? Recorded sentence was: yes, "Give yes. orange, me give eat orange, me eat orange, give me eat orange, give me you." <laughs> I fucking love that video, dude. No way. Don't worry, chat. They're 5,000 years old. You can jerk off to them. Are you enjoying your order, sir? Yeah, it's great. Thanks. How's your day? I'm a penis! <laughs> I shouldn't have laughed. It's not funny. It's really not funny. It wasn't funny. I'm sorry I laughed, Chad. I feel like I let you Remember guys Remember comedy in 2017? Yes, uh... Yeah, I would appreciate it if you wouldn't actually call me a he or her. Oh, I'm a boy. fucking oak tree. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I put my teeth in the camera. God dang! God damn! It looks like a planet, bro. <laughs> New gender drop, babe. Yeah, I know. It was really my funny in 2017. Yeah, I feel. I feel that. I feel that. That's fair. I feel that. That's fair. Oh yeah. Yes, dude. 
dude okay this is what i was talking about last on on media share last time dude this is the guy all he does is he intros okay and then he cuts to him right after he took a huge hit and it's just him coughing dude okay watch ready oh yeah sound wake now so let's get it <laughs> Oh, turn so red. <laughs> I love that guy. That's good. See, this, when I think of One Piece, this is what I think of now. Not those huge fucking titties playing fucking volleyball. Oh. I think of this garbage. I'm skipping. All right, last video. Here we go. Last video. Last video. <coughs> yes. Ooh, a Misa Goo. Misa. Yeah, nope, wrong. That's Jar Jar, idiot. You're so fucking stupid, dude. You don't even know how to make jokes. You're so stupid. Misa is Jar Jar. Yoda would never say Misa. Donkey! <laughs> what are you doing? In Misa, or that's a little Jar Jar. Oh wait, here. Do you think that's like a gotcha or something? You throw up the clown picture. I'd like to tell you a story about me, my uncle, and our friend Doc playing golf. Okay. Doc was trying to help improve my golf swing. I was so bad, Doc got frustrated. He said, let me try to put this in words. You might understand. Keep your head still like you're eating pussy. I shanked the last shot of the day. Doc looks at my uncle and said, well, he ain't ever ate no pussy before. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I mean, what? All right, boys. Uh, we have an iceberg to finish, so let's finish this iceberg and we'll call it a good stream how's that sound boys let's finish this iceberg and we'll call it a good stream huh how's that sound huh I all right was contemplating introducing my parents to the stream but you went ahead and started the child po bit sad <laughs> you're, well, you're welcome you're a fool Wabi anyway <laughs> all right um so many old no way we're finishing it yes we are I'm, I'm, I'm gonna finish it in 30 minutes too here we go here we go ladies and gentlemen the remainder of the iceberg stream. All right, we're at the bottom half of the iceberg. We're actually almost done here. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's see what I have sources for. We're gonna start with. We have the last three sections. This is the deep lore. This is actually the lore that really is the only lore that matters. All right, we have the peas. Uh, okay, so over COVID, we're gonna just get it. No way in thirty minutes. Watch. Over COVID, I ordered a bunch of canned food because uh, I was prepping because I was scared like everybody else. I ordered in that canned food. I ordered a can of. Uh, peas that um, never showed up uh, and it took it you skipped what did I skip what did I skip what did I skip what did I skip I skipped oh I skipped this section oh yeah we're not gonna finish in 30 minutes okay yeah we're not okay you're right we're not gonna skip in, in that okay so I'm just gonna start with the peas then real quick all right so uh the can of peas never showed up it became a stream meme after months it showed up and I think I I gave it away to someone who gifted subs I don't remember but that is the Wubby Peas um, sneeze guy. There was a guy for years who documented uh, all of my sneezes. And he, he compiled them and he would donate them to MediaShare. And I think we have a clip of that here. I think this is uh, the first sighting of it. This, holy. Well, what is this quality, bro? Hello? Hello? Shit. He's been tracking my sneeze for years, bro. Alex, the sneeze guy. <laughs> so, what's interesting about sneeze guy here? What's interesting about sneeze guy here is he disappeared. He retired. He even he he donated a video saying, "Hey, I'm done, bro. That's the end of it. That's the end of it." Uh, lifeguard. <clears throat> uh, I mean, you guys know this one, right? Everyone knows this shit. Uh. There was, I was playing Fortnite with a child, as you guys know, and there was, a, we had a girl on the call too. I forget her name, but she was like a, she was a pretty like a booby type streamer lady, if I recall correctly. And the kid was trying to flirt with her. And in the middle of a conversation I was having with her, he butts in, 
to flirt the only way a child knows how. And he goes, did you know I'm going to be a lifeguard? And it was one of the most iconic sound bits we used on stream for a very long time. I think I retired it recently, though. All right, P-S-O-A-C-A-F. <laughs> I don't know the backstory of this, but long story short, it just stands for Pokemon uh, sits on a cake and farts. And I'll, I will leave it at that, okay? We're not going to talk much about that from now on. Um, what is he? Is that just the video that goes the, of the cat? Is that just he? I think that's just the cat video. I mean, yeah. Rip Mike. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep some of these brief. Mike was a high school bully of mine uh, who died in a car accident unexpectedly when he was a child. So, um, get fucked, Mike. And people think I cut his brakes, but I did not. He did. I did not kill him. He died on his own because he was stupid. Heelys is a reference to my old Heelys video on YouTube. You can go look it up. Heelys Invasion. I promised a part two in it that I never did. Maybe I'll do it one day. Um, growing Wheat. Growing Wheat. This is a media share video. I don't know who started this. So whoever it, that is in chat, be proud. You started a meme that has continued to this day. But this video just started getting donated on my stream. I wonder if all the comments are related to me. I'm walking to a farm. No. Oh, wait, yep. To grow wheat. We need to meet this guy. I don't know how we could. I'm I don't know who he is. To a farm. To grow wheat. This guy is. There's no more context to that other than people just started donating it to me. Uh, radar is a reference to. Uh, I had a boner <laughs> in. in, in my mother's stomach, this, let me give a context. I was an unborn baby at the time and my grandma saw a photo of it and uh, she said, oh, look, it's like a little radar. And then that was my nickname for years. My grandma still calls me radar. I had a baby boner. And if you heard the story, you're going to jail now. Uh, second Twitch channel. <laughs> I have an alt Twitch that I've streamed Counter-Strike from called, I get. am I supposed to say it? I, I mean, we're just supposed to reveal everything. I have an alt that we're not supposed to talk about. Well, chat's already saying it, so we'll leave it at that. Big Dick Donos, I think exclamation point Big Dick still pulls it up. It's an old list of Big Dick Donators, and it's what we call our Big Dick Donators. This is such a deep one. If anybody has anything from this, please put it on the subreddit. Um, Ubisoft sponsorship. I don't think I don't think 99% of you know this. I was I got a sponsorship from Ubisoft to to play the new Assassin's Creed game on stream. I think it was a I don't think it was Odyssey. I don't know which one it was. Was it Odyssey? This is so old. Long story short, it was the first and last Ubisoft sponsorship I ever did. They were going to pay me a few thousand dollars to pick, to play their game for a couple hours and the game was really shit and poorly optimized as you guys can imagine and all i did was shit on it for hours and it became a huge meme and we were all just doing we did like like it wasn't loading properly so i pulled up microsoft paint and just like painted what was on the screen anyway long story short they stopped talking to me and they didn't pay me and that's the last i ever heard from them ever again so i took the l for the boys that's the ubisoft sponsorship um uh, I guess next, uh, Wubby video game. The Wubby video game was a game being made by uh, a viewer, um, who fell off, but I think the video, I mean, it was just a goofy little game. It was cute. Um, is that what this is? I don't know. Do we have anything from it? I think it's still on steam. I don't know. I have nothing about it. Um, it was discontinued and you can't buy it anymore. Well, there you go. Uh, zipper. Zipper was a little, uh, do we have, oh, Peanut found a video of it. Zipper was a little, like, what, what do you even call those little people that dance in the bottom of your screen? What were they called for a time? Also known as Rachel. She was a mute. All right, here, God, so many people probably don't even know that we did this first stream. So there she is. We had her in our, it was, I, like, this is so surreal that we did this for a time. Us. Zipper's just gonna be joining us and hearing all my opinions. Um, Who's that? You guys know what VTubers are, by the way? 
Do you want me guys, before we do the Disney tier list, do you guys want me to show you what a VTuber is? Hello! You know what I saw Soda Poppin doing? Okay, I'm, I, 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 I don't know if it's what this is what it's called. It's called, what is it called? Peanut knows what it's called. It's called like a mute, but Damn, Soda Poppin- Damn, some things never change. I still didn't know what it was called. So yeah, we had her in our, uh, I did a tier list and this, this person joined us. Also, can I get a shout out to me? Okay. The camera glow up here is massive, bro. The camera glow up here is, okay. You know, there are nice ways to compliment people. Someone just said, Wubby, you were so fucking fat. You know what you could say? Hey, Wubby, you're looking good. You know that, right? You know, you could say that. <sighs> All right, where were we? Uh, zipper, tiny glasses. Uh, I have a story. So those, those, I used to wear those all the time on stream back when I was like a Humegal all streamer. They were from the dollar store. Uh, I don't have any more, unfortunately. Um, you can see the photo of them there. That's my first ever emote was those tiny glasses. I found them very funny and I would always wear them. Plop, plop references. And this is all a joke, by the way. None of this, none of what I'm about to say is true. I pooped on stream one time in darkness uh, and streamed it. And the only evidence that I pooped is this uh, single 10 second clip. Listen carefully. But I just wanted to show you what it's like in any of my rooms that don't have windows right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> to show you what it's like. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I didn't realize how loud that was gonna be. So that's plop. Uh, um, wow, that was, that was so loud. Sonic's feet was a meme that I came up with uh, that I feel I feel like the meme has gone beyond my stream at this point. I'm not gonna lie I take credit for it But I would just I would just find a way to incorporate talking about how stinky Sonic's feet were into any conversation, right? So for example, maybe I'm telling a story, you know, I went to Disney with my family and This thing kept happening. It kept ruining our day. I would, I would keep stopping And every few steps I would just pause. I couldn't get it out of my head. What can you imagine? What Sonic's feet must smell like. And I don't mean just day to day. I mean, after a long jog. I mean, he's running at the speed of sound. Imagine when he takes a break, kicks his shoes off. What do those feet smell like, right? Put those grippers to my dome. Exactly. You did not come up with it. I'm not saying that I invented imagining what Sonic's feet smell like. I'm saying that on my own, at my desk, I, made, I started doing this to my friends because it was funny. And then I gave it to my stream. Now, granted, I'm not the only one who probably thought about what Sonic's feet st smell like, right? And I'm probably not the only one who sends Farquaad to their friends, right? But who cares? Uh, dingle, dingle, dude, thank you for the five. It'd probably get you high. Amen to that. Tan Wubby. I'm just gonna, we're not gonna go too deep into that one. But uh, Tan Wubby, I did a stream where I promised I would get a spray tan. I got a very dark spray tan. And we did a stream with it. And now everyone says it's racist. It's not racist. I was a tan man. I did a tan face. Okay. Did not do blackface. Did not do any sort of uh, parody of, of black people at all. We got very tan. Some people call him the, yeah, the cool, the OG cool wubby. That's up to you. Um, <laughs> but we're going to leave it at that. Twitch sings. Oh my God. Is there footage of this? Twitch had a thing where you could sing with, uh... do we have any footage of it? Oh my god, there's a video. I don't know what this video is going to be of. You should make a Tan Wubby emote. No, nah, we try to forget about Tan <laughs> I'm kidding. I just don't. I think making an emote would be probably not the play. I don't know what this video is, but this is the Twitch sing. Oh my god, it's on the stream archive. No, what is this? Oh no. What is this? Alex, I'm not tweeting this. What? Oh no. It's Paladin Amber. Oh, it's Paladin Amber. What is this? What is this? Oh, this is me playing and Twitch Sings. Chaser. So you sing with your audience. Why? Oh, it was so cringe, dude. I'm a black woman. Why am I a black woman? I mean, I ask myself this every day. Oh, and then I'm, who am I singing with? I try. Oh, okay. You know what? At first I was thinking cringe, but I, I gave it my heart here. Listen to this. Listen to this. I 
I love puppy kisses. Shut up, bitch. Sorry, that was Adam talking. Bro, I gave it. You guys are saying dies of cringe. I don't give a fuck. I'm killing it. Let it go. Boo, boring, boring. Give it back to the ginger kid. All right, so that's Twitch Sings. Uh, it's discontinued, so that's it. We'll never be able to do that again because they took it away. Uh, uh, Lopez, uh, my friend Tex has a, a special code because he he works with uh, people who might need a special code. I don't know if I can say what he does, but um, he he. So the code is: if anything starts to get out of hand and you need a code uh, to get out of the situation, you know, for people who might have like autism or or social uh, issues, you would say. Uh, uh, George, I would test the waters to you if I saw you were having a problem. I would say George, and you would respond with Lopez, okay? So if I say George, and you guys are having a bad time and you want to get out of the situation, you would say Lopez, right? And so for a time, we had a Lopez sound alert on stream, and my God, you guys would spam it. Anytime I would say anything, the chat was like, this is a Lopez moment. What's funny is this got lost to time. Lopez was something you guys used to say all the time. I took away the sound alert after a while and it kind of faded away. Kind of interesting, right? Lopez was something, you just unlocked a deep memory. Dude, right? You gotta bring it back. It was really funny, but it was basically all my chat spammed if I was telling a story, right? It wasn't TOS, they'd be like, dude, this is a Lopez moment right now, stop talking. Um. Here's one that I think is going to surprise a lot of people. I genuinely think this is going to surprise you. French man. Did you guys know there's a French person on this stream for every stream? Look at the bottom left-hand corner of your, of your screen right now. Look at the bottom left-hand corner. Who's this? That's a French guy. <laughs> go, go ahead, look back. Look back. Look back at every stream. He's always been there. Go ahead, look back. He's always been there. You might ask yourself, why? What? Where did he come from? I'm so confused. What's happening? Uh, the best explanation I could possibly provide to you is when I was a very, very early streamer, like early in my career, same with uh, uh, um, Bernie Mac, who you see on the bus there. Uh, I just loved fucking with PNGs and doing little like puppet show theaters on my stream with them. And at one point, I he's a, he's a fuck size now. And guess what? He's going to remain that size for a very long time. I needed a French person for a very early stream bit. I have no clue what it is. It was probably stupid and meant nothing. And then for no reason, I kept him on screen. And then eventually you leave him on screen for so long that my 40 viewers, if I took him away, they'd be like, where's French guy, right? And so now six years later, nearly, French guy has remained. He made me, exactly, he made me. That is it. It's very weird, right? It's like if I take him away now though, kind of like the green screen, chat goes crazy. What about top right? Oh, you, I see you've met Asian man. Yeah, he's been there for a while. I'd say Asian man was a relatively recent uh, addition to it. But yeah, random Asian guy, he's been top right for, uh, uh, who is he? I don't know. I don't remember. He's been there for probably a couple years now. A couple years, but he, he doesn't compare to um, French guy and to uh, Bernie Mac. I'm sure this is weird for a lot of you. I'm sure a lot of you don't realize that these things go on. But yeah, he's been, for years, man, for years. Uh, French man, Stushi was a nickname that my father called me growing up. We're gonna leave it at that, cause that's it. Wubby Wet. My, the only emote Twitch has ever rejected of mine. It was a, uh, um, it was a emote of, a drawn emote of me with my tongue out, like sexy, like, like Ahegayo or whatever, with like, uh, spit dripping. It was, it was actually really hot. I can't show it because they deemed it not TOS friendly. I so, did not touch the chicken stushi. You, oh, that is so weird. Uh, you did touch the chicken. So, uh, I got banned from putting up emotes for a while. They said like all of them had to be manually reviewed, but luckily this is years ago now. So in response, I uploaded Wubby Dry, which is, uh, you put it in chat right now. That's what it is. Uh, cheese, it's on the desk. We couldn't find an exact date of when this started. So I'll just give you what I believe it is. Uh, in one of my YouTube videos, I had Tupperware filled with Cheez-Its in the background of one of my YouTube videos, and they were on my desk, and people gave me a lot of shit for it. Uh, Xbox Sex is another song um, that I did with Drumsy, like Rap Cod, and I'm not going to play it, and you can go watch it on your own. Uh, where did it? Wait, why is Twitch Sings twice? Nice try, Booty. <laughs> we're going to give Booty. We know we love Booty. Claps for Booty because he put this together. We can forgive him for a, a double Twitch Sings. Makes it my job easier. Play it? Fine. 
<sighs> it's already you you guys have seen it it's been played before you guys have definitely seen this before um however all of okay let's get to the fucking no no here we go no that's not it oh here it is it's getting so despairing when you're always watching me when i shower and poop you watch you watch you watch full song so there you go you guys can go uh yeah listen you listen um we all have make regrets but whatever um 1052 is a good one this one's still i love the ones that are very old but still get used today 1052 is the timestamp uh in one of my old youtube videos where i use a is from years ago i use a very tos word we were watching one of my old videos on stream and people were saying skip the the time stamp of 1052 because i use a gamer word at that time um the video is still up on my channel i it's i love the video is very funny uh and i that timestamp now is a meme timestamp anytime i need a timestamp people say 1052 any anytime everyone goes 1052 it's uh there you go and then carlos made a song out of it which i love uh, well, okay, he took a song Watching and you he... slowly die inside when the music videos were revealed sustains me to this day. So this is a, a song overlaid with my, um, Ladies, a rant like I did. Asshole, cause it's about particularly nice. Fucking asshole. We like your asshole, cause you won't let us have it. And cause typically it's tighter than your baby wagon. I'm looking up another video right now while I, I get ready for this. I'll take a little poop on my dick if it means I can relive my high school days. Of course I will. Tell me I'm the only one. Tell me I'm the only one who's fucked the poop shoot. <laughs> and I'll put a ring it? on it. Oh, this is it, yes. Bring on it. All right, so you can go listen to the whole thing. It's called Danger 1052 if you want to look it up. So the next one is We Are Still Towels. I played a booty shaking video. Um, this one where the girl has a towel. And I said, if you guys give subs right now, you can become the towel. You will be the towel. And then I moved on. I moved on with the bit because it was dumb. And I got some subs. By the way, the offer is still on the table. Anyone who wants to become the towel, you can give subs now. And let me tell you, the towel is getting that good stank. Thank you, uh, uh, BG Horns. Thank you. Or Bong Horns. Appreciate you. Thank you, Warlord Frost. We might as well let the video finish, right? I mean, full screen? Is that what you said? All right, we'll put it in full screen. Um, appreciate you guys. So then what happened was, weeks later, people were in chat being like, dude, I'm still a towel. What do I do? You never gave us an out. You never told us how to fix this. So that's the worst. Still you'll still every once in a while in chat, you will see somebody say, dude, I'm still a towel. Bandit Coon, thank you for the five, brother. Appreciate you. A lot of thirst. That's fine. Thank you, your boy. Appreciate you. Um, so, yeah. You I mean, know what, I dude? Mm -hmm. I super agree with what's being said. That's that is a, something I agree with right there. Yes. Uh, we still don't have a way to not be a towel, unfortunately. That is something you're going to be. Um, all right, so end stream. I think this is just in reference to... Let's see. Yeah, it was a points reward. We, we, we've never done anything with points on this stream. Um, and at one point, we had a points reward of like a million points you could end the stream. And somebody did it right at the start of like a big event stream we had. And then I turned it off and never did it and stopped caring. And it pissed everyone off. But at the end of the day, uh, you guys were ab absolutely abusing it. It was I was like, if I end stream right now, you guys are going to be pissed. And you're like, I don't care. End it. So whatever. All right. We're going on to the next section, the peas, which I already talked about. Wubby egg. Uh, do I have something for this? I do. I do. Wubby egg. What do we have for wubby egg? Okay. This is from a really OG video of me and uh of mine rather so here it is okay hold on let's 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 start it over here so i'm i'm making this is when i was making demonetized cookies i think or no it's an old stream uh check this out though check this out look at this got the juggle whoa got the juggle got the ju slam the egg but the egg flew back out 
<laughs> kind of iconic, not going to lie. And uh, if you look in chat, Wubby Egg, it's an emote to commemorate. I don't know how that, like, that's actually incredible. Look at that thing come out. Dude, turn the sound on. Oh, there's sound. Oh, shit. <laughs> we'll be right back. Be right back. <laughs> so that's Wubby Egg. Right right um, why can't I pull up my, there she is. Check your ah! There we go. Uh, to add to the peas lore, they're I'm gone. the uh, one who won them, you, and I still memories. have them. You gave them to the new frogs. All I have left is memories of the, the green screen suitless man reviewing comments and saying the N word. I want to go back. Now I'm just a sad old frog. The peas, three years later, there it is, boys. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? And the dent. Wait, you put them in the microwave? What the fuck? So there you go. This is the peas. Apparently, J the other Jay-Z got them. The other Jay-Z is the one who won them, and he still has them three years later. There you go. The peas. I love that. VHS. Uh, I was playing Phil Kid Friday, and I asked a kid if he knew what a VHS was. Um, and I believe he... He, what did he say? He said it was, he thought it was an STD. And uh, a meme was born. There you go. That's what VHS is. Susu! This is not the, the swimsuit Susu, although this Susu also is in a swimsuit. Susu family, very sorry. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to show this one, but this really, I think, took my career uh, to new heights at the time go watch this video if you haven't creepy mom videos need to stop not only is this video amazing but the follow-up is amazing we actually became fake home third world homies everything this is just go watch the susu if you haven't seen it nugget lee okay nugget lee by the way uh is part of that they just gifted subs you need to go watch it if you haven't seen it uh, those videos are iconic to me. Uh, white hat guy. I don't know what this is. I hope there's something in the docket about. Uh, we okay. This one just has question marks. We don't know what this one is. Um, we don't. If anyone knows what white hat guy is, help me out. It was at Benihana. Okay, that was our guest. But how do you guys know this? There was a guy in a white hat behind you at Benihana. <laughs> Man, you guys are crazy for knowing this shit. How do you guys know this? Okay, well, there you go. Uh, Jasmine, pictured here. We did a Tinder stream where I dressed up as a lovely and beautiful woman named Jasmine to see how many matches we get. That uh, Tinder account has not been touched since that uh, the update stream, but, I, but basically all that really ended up happening were people from stream matched me and it was dumb. Uh, I still have the cheap tablet I bought to use Tinder on, but I haven't turned it on in years. It might be fun to go back and see where that's at, but yeah, that's what Jasmine is. Rosa Parks Uber, thank you for the 10. Uh, peanut butter fridge. I keep my peanut butter in the fridge and that triggered a lot of people, okay? The monkey ball debt. We've talked, we actually already talked about that, I think, so I'm gonna leave that one. Uh, I owe like a billion subs. Hot Wheels movie. I think we've watched it twice on stream now. The Hot Wheels movie with uh, initial D music in the background. Uh, we love watching the Hot Wheels movie. It will probably do it again at some point. There you go. A classic. The Oral Sex Demon. Again, guys, if you haven't seen the OG Wubby videos, you are missing out. Uh, I talked about Ed Citronelli and the Oral Sex Demon in this video. Uh, I think there's a little timestamp here of, of something funny. To the wrong husband. Shocking. How does that happen? Look that demo. Look, look, oral sex. Oral sex demo. <laughs> uh, so in that video, the lady is claiming to literally be uh, uh, um, fucked in the mouth by an oral sex demon. So go watch that video. It's it's called Ed Citronelli or something. You'll find it. Just type in oral sex demon wubby. You'll find it. Go watch it. It's good. Um, Star Trek intro. Oh boy, don't I have to show this one? I did a Star Trek sponsorship for the money. Uh, I was very clear on it, why we did it. And it spawned a few memes. Um, and the stream was fun. I think I think it was a fun way to do a sponsorship. But here it is. 
I did this intro, uh, uh, but it was way. Oh, thank you. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Wub Ship Enterprise. I'm not skipping Indian mode. It's four hour mission to ex. I died a stream for four hours. Explore strange new sponsorships. To seek out new streaming content. To flail in a hot tub for easy subs. We done it. We done it all, boys. And to boldly go where no streamer has gone before. Bro, I hate this shirt is so tight, bro. Can we get this man a better shirt, please? Like it's what's happening here, bro? Think we got back tits and front tits. Can somebody help this man? <laughs> we need to release the uh, brown face Klingon cut. That's all I'm gonna say. Alex Breast as Tits McGee. Is that where Tits McGee comes? Whoa! Look at me getting it though. I mean, that's commitment right there. Oh. Also, I, I think they changed the audio for this to make it copyright free. Anyway, here's the whole stream, but you guys can go watch it. Um, there you go. It's a, just a sponsor stream, but that was fun. That is where the, 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 you, whatever. Um, you guys, you're getting mad that I'm skipping the, where is Indian Moan on here that I skipped? Am I blind? Star Trek into, what small black girl? Oh, there is Indian Moan. I did skip it. My fault. Uh, is it still a sound alert on here? I can't remember. Yes, it is. Okay, well, it's a sound alert. Where does Indian Moan come from? You might be wondering. Where does Indian Moan come from? Well, we were looking at... Um, <laughs> we were looking at... Uh, oh, oh, oh! There it is. This one's going to blow your guys' mind. Bakken Calls was legendary. Bakken Calls was legendary. Uh, so this original video, I do not know where it is, but there was a... I think there was a karaoke website that i was making fun of people on we would just go through the karaoke and make fun of people on it and this one was a cover of the song baby by justin bieber as done by this indian man and he makes a whale at the start of his cover that i thought was so funny we took the whale and we made it into a sound alert oh it was by dr casey oh it was on youtube okay Long intro, L really letting it marinate. Long intro here. Still go, okay, I'm gonna skip, Jesus. Oh, oh. it's kind of surreal, isn't it? To actually see, it's kind of weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh. It doesn't seem right. Oh, oh, oh. It doesn't seem right. Oh, 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 oh. You know you love me. I know you care. Just shout the number and I'll be there. You are my love. You are my heart. And we'll never, ever, ever be apart. Are we an item to quit playing? We are just friends. What are you saying? So this another and look right in my eyes. My first love broke my heart for the first time. I was like, baby, baby. Crazy. Actually crazy. What? Dude, seeing it is kind of weird now. Seeing it's kind of weird. Okay. Uh, 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 Indian Mountain Star Trek. Chef Ben. If you guys haven't seen it, I did a, a thing called Wubby Experiences back in the day. Uh, it was a uh, one-time video we did where I did a bunch of um, uh, Airbnb experiences. We wanted to do more. I will say it's crazy to look back on this video.
because I look back on this video very fondly. It has over a million views, yet when I released it, I'm not lying. I'm in touch with what people think when I put out videos, any content creator is. Oh, can you guys hear me? Um, and, oh, are we down or something? Hello? Anyway, what I'm saying is uh, a lot of people uh, didn't like it. A lot of people didn't like this video. I love it now. What I would suggest everybody go back and watch it if you haven't seen it. Um, but Chef Ben was a character in this, uh, and there's a lot of history with him. This is Chef Ben. Dressed. So if this was like, you know, if you why 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 are you so why why are you so low quality? If you're this was leaf, that's what you're gonna end up doing. I'm putting leaves on a plate. I'm getting stressed. So if this was like, you know, if you were this was at a restaurant or whatever, mm -hmm. like the customer would uh, would have um, uh, what's what's the word? died of starvation by now. So, um, <laughs> so make some choices. So there you go. Uh, Chef Ben, though, turned out to be <laughs> kind, of, kind, of, kind of a scumbag. Anyway, go watch the video. It was really good, and I was really happy with it. All right, moving on. Um, Life with Mac, the video that started my first major controversy uh, where I made fun of a child doing ASMR because I thought it was weird. There Again... Go watch the uh, Life with Mac YouTube videos I put out. That's really what it comes from. It's just an old video. Wubby is Middle Eastern. I don't think that's that deep anymore. You can see my dad. We brought him on as our resident Middle Eastern man. Expand on that. Expand on what? The Life with Mac thing? Everything's on YouTube. It's a whole, it's a series. Um, Finches. Okay, the Finch story is in reference to... Uh, I've told it on stream. I'm sure you could find an archive of it. But uh, I'm going to tell this story in five seconds, but it's a 20-minute story. Uh, I was jerking off a knock at the door. I sprinted the door. I crashed into my dad's Finch cage. I came on the Finches. Uh, my mom walks in. I have to help gather the Finches that are not flying around the house. And uh, one of the Finches died shortly after. And I believe it's because of the trauma of me coming on the Finch. Okay. Uh, Rainforest Cafe Cup. Uh, I went to the Rainforest Cafe when I was uh, first starting streaming. And I got, I stole one of their cups. Uh, and I started using it on stream. And these, if you put the emote in chat, you'll see it. Um, they're very weird looking cups. My early chat was fascinated by it and I continued to use it. And then people started Son, sending I know me what you did to the, the finches. That, that was the saddest day of my life. Why when I Carlos flushed my dad? their cum covered bodies down the toilet, I cried and felt suicidal. Nothing could bring my happiness back. At least it wasn't the fish. Amen to that. Um, so people started sending me their Rainforest Cafe cups, and I just started using them uh, for the a video very where long she time. Up as a cop was the weirdest kink shit. <laughs> Thank God you stood up. Uh, and uh, I stopped using them because I st I got a first a G Fuel sponsorship and then a Gamer Sub sponsorship. So I stopped using the Rainforest Cafe cups. But if you ever visit my house, which you won't, because I'm not your cousin, uh, you'll see I have like a whole collection of Rainforest Cafe cups. They're really cool to me. Garfield face paint. I did a Garfield face paint stream um is there a footage of it there is where i i did my face i think i was at were we at a fair i don't know where we're at i guess we're gonna find out together now chat oh my god yep we were at the fair and i i got my face paint and my really garfield. somebody said oh my god stop um where is it oh this do not go watch this vod it is it is a, it is a oh is that a pumpkin patch Chat knows me better than me. This was such a fun stream, but this is so cringe. I had this interaction I had with this face painting lady it was so bad, dude. Um, and I think I become autistic Garfield. And then there's a great, Carlos has it. He loves sending it. But there's a great screenshot of me eating a glizzy like an absolute goblin in this stream. He hasn't, he hasn't shouted anything out, so that's there, still. There's Garfield. Um, is this it? Is this me eating it? Oh no. Are you gonna be mean here? I really don't know him, but. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're doing famous people that got caught eating the glizzy, part two. Let's go. Coming in next, I really don't know him, but. Hey, <laughs> yo. And he got the bev to take the shit down with him? Nah, hey, yo. That's at least a 10 inch glizzy, yo, bro. Use what? All right, so there's the meme. You understand it. I will say, like, you know. When you look at the career from a zoomed out perspective, 
There, we really have done more shit than anyone will ever remember. I know I don't stream the most out of anybody, but when you look at everything I've done, like, I forgot we went to a pumpkin patch, picked out pumpkins, became Garfield, sucked down a glizzy, and then we went back to an Airbnb and carved the pumpkins. We've re yeah, we've really been here for a long time. It's crazy. Uh, small black girl. Can't wait to see what this one is, because I don't... Oh, wait, is this... Yep, this is... Okay, this is not as bad as you think. Like, it's not weird. Uh, I believe this is... Oh, God. Okay, is this... I need to watch this off screen. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> all right, we're gonna all agree that you know this is a different wubby, okay? But <laughs> okay, this was on stream. I think I got banned, and this was my unbanned thing. I think. Hello, little girl. I need your bike, you whore. Oh, I shouldn't have said it. I said I wouldn't. <laughs> bitch, bitch. All right, we're gonna. <sighs> okay, uh, Nuka Zeus cheated. We had Nuka Zeus on stream, the, the dude who turned himself black, and on uh, he was on my Wabillionaire stream, and he later confessed that he, I believe, or I don't know if he confessed it or people just figured it out, but he cheated during the stream. I don't know if he admitted it or not. I don't know. But people figured out he cheated during the question answers of the stream uh, and used it to make money. So there's that. Um,. All right, next one, DMX intros. Uh, I don't think we have a clip from this. Oh, we do. Oh, no. I don't know what this is going to be. Oh, no, it's just the song. I used to intro stream a lot with this song. You know what I'm saying? These Rough Rider niggas. Huh? I heard these niggas is for real. Dog. Uh-huh. Not That's this song. That's my man. I'm saying that. But I heard these niggas. Not this song. Not this song. Wait, where's the song? This is the someone like the wrong song. It was probably me. Well, whatever. We used to interest. I don't have a clip of it, so it's not that interesting. Wubby Cow. Is that a reference to Wubby Cow? There's a link to this. What is this in reference to? Oh, oh, oh. It's very literal. It's very literal. You know. We loved Doja Cat before she was famous. She was our streams. I say this with pride. Doja Cat was our streams crush. Before she was famous, she was our crush. Okay? Is this where I deflate? Is this where I deflate? Where do I deflate? Oh no, that's later. I guess it's not in this one. <clears throat> anyway, we miss you, Doja Cat. Come back. You were ours first. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, Chin Chin. Who remembers Chin Chin? Chin Chin is a rare uh, uh, chatter who shows up once in a in a very rare occasion with a shitload of money to just dump into stream. We really only see him when his money can make uh uh can hurt the content so for example when we do crowd control and you can pay to ruin the game he basically uh, he shows up he gifts thousands of dollars to ruin the game and then we don't see him for eight months that's chin chin urban naruto i have no clue what this is Urban Naruto. I don't know what that is. So I'll, I'll, there's nothing there either. Ranch Bird. I had a friend uh, in high school who uh, found a dead bird outside of his uh, uh, house. Is this? And, uh, or wait, is it? Yeah, he poured, and he poured ranch on the dead bird and sent a photo of it. Anyway, he was, he was a weird guy. Zorblorg. The first character, the first stream character to ever exist was Zorblorg. Um, what's, is it 15? 
Is that what it is? Hello? Hello? I, oh, is that it? Is that it? Oh, oh, oh. Is this one? I, oh, there it is! So I got this mixer. This was like when I first started streaming. I got this mixer and I found this voice funny. So I made a. Guys, you gotta give my. I had like 30 viewers at the time. And I would. Oh, I'm Zorborg of the Zorborgians! It's a. Yeah, it's a little embarrassing now that we look back on it. I think this is the earliest footage I was able to find of Zorblark. Guys, it is. Can you tell how old the stream was, boys? Can you tell how old the stream was? It is me, Zorblark of the Zorblorgians. I want more. Bro, even back then, I was struggling to get PNGs. It's a fucking JPEG. Of a green dude <laughs> standing in front of a white background. <laughs> That's good. Why Listen am I to me very carefully. This I'm is an urgency. This is an urgency. Well, whenever you can go watch that VOD. So that's Zorblorg, a discontinued character. The egg dance. You guys know this. The egg song. You know the egg song. I uh, performed it there. I had a cute a t a teenage. Is that what they're called? The, the 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 hotter older girl when you're in high school or middle school who helps the teacher and they're always attractive like older and you're a kid and you think they like you but they don't like you. Anyway, I wanted to impress the one in my middle school class. She was a high schooler. I wanted to impress her, uh, and so I performed this song for her in front of the whole class. Have a nice night, Wubby. I still know every word to this, by the way. So originally, my friend Zach was supposed to come up there and perform it with me in front of the whole class. And when we no, got up there, no to that. I do not Sing support what, that's, what is being said right now. That's a no for me. Of the protein <laughs> too. Oodle doodle, popular and perfect and so complete in every way. I love you, egg, egg, come into my tummy, oh, so very yummy. Crack, 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 chip a chip away your shell and come to me. Okay, anyway, thank you, Crimson New Time, for the 25! Um, Zach was supposed to perform it with me, and when we got up there, Zach didn't fucking say a word. Zach didn't fucking say a word. He let me fucking flounder, but I went for it. And I'll have you know, I didn't get any TA pussy. I didn't get any TA pussy. Uh, star. The star sound alert was a sound alert on the stream for a very long time. Thank you again, Crimson New Type. Sorry, I got into it. Uh, star was a sound alert for a long time because the original plan was... Oh, wait, I think we actually have a video of this one. We do. We were trying to get people to do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star using sound bits where each sound bit was just one word. So if you don't know what that means, you could play Twinkle and then Twinkle, and here's what that sounded like. Here we go. Um, twinkle. Twinkle. Little Star. Does that count? Do we count that? So there you go. We tried to do that for a whole stream, and you guys thought I didn't have content now? Come on, guys. You everything is rose tinted goggles. That what was that? Was that content? Um, and then we we got rid of it because they were taking up too many slots. But people voted on keeping star because apparently the way I said star was like wholesome. I don't know. Uh, Cheeto's full name origin. This is one that I don't think most people know. Uh, oh, it's in my folder. Okay, hold on. I have the origin of Cheeto's name right here so let me show you uh here we go i had just bought a brand new 500 dollars vacuum i had just bought a brand new 500 hundred dollar vacuum and i wanted to reveal it to stream to show how awesome this vacuum is all right so check this out pour some cheetah Yeah. 
Yep, 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 yep. Oh, crush him up. Crush him up. Yep. <laughs> Turn it on. Yep, yep. Look at it. Nothing can stop me here, baby. Nothing can stop me. Mm, killing it, sucking it up. And the vacuum broke. It broke the vacuum uh, almost instantly. Uh, and I had to get a new vacuum. Uh, here, now watch me realize that $500 is gone. Sorry, but it's so good. Holy shit. Just so this happened when I didn't. I mean, I had viewers, but I wasn't like where I am today. So I think it's forgotten a time. If this happened today, th no one would let me forget this. It's so good, dude. And I got to say, like, out of character, off stream between you and I, I was devastated. I was, this was the, like a big purchase for me, a $500. Um, Vacuum, I was so excited too. This was devastating at the time. New emo. Thank you. Five gets you ten for the five. Do I get ten? <laughs> and there's the worst part, chat. It left a Cheeto stain on the rug indefinitely. Look, 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 look. Speak of the devil. Here's me realizing that the floor is stained. Look. Okay, I'm sorry, but okay. The start of this, look at the confidence. I did the whole walkout. I, I, you could tell I was feeling myself. I thought I was being funny. From this, look at how confident I am. To, to the, to, to just hold on. Oh, that's so fucking funny. So that's the origin of Lil Cheeto's name. He was named Lil Cheeto to commemorate the Cheeto on the floor. Uh, where were we? Piano Kid in that same room. That was an apartment I lived in. It shared a wall with a little family. And I was loud, but they never complained about me. And that family had a little boy. And that little boy was a practicing musician who happened to practice when he got out of school right around the time that I would go live. And he was an aspiring pianist who got the nickname the piano kid because we could always hear him playing piano we were not able to find a clip of it because this was something that just kind of happened randomly while i would be live fucking three years ago so if anybody has this kid being an, an, an aspiring penis uh please link it but otherwise uh you'll just have to think of the story you could just hear him in the background like struggling through chopsticks it was so funny uh, the Razor Scooter? I don't know what this one is. I have no clue. I don't even know what that is at all. It's not even on our list, so. NBA 2K Mods. I made a video. Uh, one of my first videos to get any sort of virality before. Let me explain. I made a video where I did NBA 2K Mods. I was just a kid making videos for my friends. I uploaded it. Are you it. retiring? This feels like a farewell and review of the good times. <sighs> no, not at all. Um... Not at all. In fact, uh, not even slightly, no, no. I'm, I, I, and I was just about to say, I had a really fun stream today too. Before this, I was having it was such a good vibe just talking to you guys and 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 like going through DJ Cal. It felt like it's just a classic stream. Anyway, I made a two K NBA two K video and uh, it got stolen. A meme channel uploaded it and cut out my intro and outro and cropped in my face and it went viral on Facebook. And I remember I was a nobody. I had no viewers. I was working a fucking shitty job. And I wanted to ball. I was like in shambles. I'm like, there's no way you get a second chance. There's no way two of your videos go viral. And my one chance was stolen from me. It was, oh, it was so tragic to me. Um, luckily, obviously things worked out differently. Um, that's not the scooter clip. We're talking about Razor scooter. Anyway, luckily it worked out, but yeah, that was my first ever thing and it was so bad. Uh, Rip Plute. Rip Plute. Uh, 
plute is is a it's an emo it's also in reference to a plate um i don't know what got us here but uh uh here is that moment from stream i don't know how we ended up here though <laughs> <clears throat> I love this shit. Hold on, let me pause the music. There's the plate. You can see the plate on the floor there. Here, let me make it full screen. You can see the plate there. Watch. What is this? Like, what, what, what the hell is this shit? I wasn't even wearing any shorts. That's bold. Why is the VOD unlisted? We uploaded this. Comedy genius. Hey, you know what? It got me here. So I did something right. Uh, so that's the that's the plate. Forbidden mystery door. We don't have any footage of this, but in that same room you just saw there, which is the same room as the Cheetos, there was a door like perpendicular to my stream setup that people got a glimpse of every once in a while. And everyone would go, what's in there? What's behind the door? I don't know if I've ever revealed it, but I'll reveal it now. Uh, behind the door, the forbidden mystery door, Um, so there you go. Not that exciting. Some of you may already know. I don't know. Uh, Scorpio. I love Scorpio. Scorpio was a hacking agency that me, my brother, and my friend Billy came up with in, I was in middle school. My brother was high school. And there's a lot, I'm sure you can find a VOD on YouTube explaining the whole thing. I don't want to go through a 30 minute story, but I'll sum it up. We were a hacking agency. Okay. But our biggest problem was figuring out what we do because we were children in middle school but we would have meetings about scorpio and what our plans were and most of them would we we, we went nowhere because we were children um the fair is the fair what's the fair what's the fair what's the fair what is the fair wubby fair oh this is cute um I'll just tell it in my own words, but I, I quit my job. Okay, I'll tell it in my, in my own words. So I quit my job, and uh, and l l long story short, I I at the time I was like, it's like, why did you quit your job to pursue this? You're stupid, and it was a risk, and people, it was just not a good thing. I, I looked crazy to my 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 friends and and family, um, and my we were gonna go to the fair, which was a big deal, right? Because you know, it was a family outing already paid for. I skipped out on going to the fair uh, because of uh, I wanting to go live that day uh, when my video was on Reddit. And it was the best decision I ever made. You can watch the whole thing on, on YouTube. But it basically was like such a career defining moment. And everything, everything, yeah, I shouldn't have done it, right? But I took the gamble. You skip Sleepless in Seattle? I'm not trying to skip any of these guys. Uh, where is that? Oh, Sleepers in Seattle. I see it. Okay. Uh, in Seattle, I got drunk with Alex and some friends and uh, went back to the Airbnb we were staying at and uh, passed out drunk. Door was locked. So I'm blackout drunk. There's the full stories on YouTube. I suggest listening to the full story. Blackout drunk in uh, Seattle. I'm wandering the streets. I start crying, blackout, stumbling drunk in Seattle. I try calling random people. I go back to the Airbnb. I try kicking down the door, which was in an apartment complex. Everyone comes out of their rooms because they think a crazy person is there. And they go, I'm like, I'm crying, trying to explain. They're like, hey, man, I don't know what your situation is, but you got to leave. So I leave. I tried sleeping on a bench. I was crying. I was so drunk. You might be saying, Wubby, why didn't you get a hotel? I was so, I'm telling you right now, if I was sober, I would have been like, oh, fuck. All right, let me get a hotel. I was just, it was the most drunk you've ever been, right? So you don't think like that. You're just panicking. Uh, eventually, after sleeping on a bench for a bit and just stumbling, I was the crazy guy you pass on the street who you don't make eye contact with. I was that guy. 
eventually I get a, a hotel for the night. Um, and uh, I, f I finally think to do that. Uh, how do you remember it though? I don't remember most of it. Hold on. Let me tell you what the memories I do have. Trying to kick down the door. I remember the people coming out and talking to me. I remember crying and stumbling down the street. But I was out for hours, you guys. I don't know what I did. I have no clue where I was. I remember stumbling and passing people and crying because they were probably scared of me. <laughs> I also remember trying to lay down on a bench. And then my next memory is I'm in a hotel lobby. So you might be saying, Wubby, how do you remember? I really, it was terrible. No, guys, it was, sorry, I'm peeking. It was legit traumatizing a little bit. Like, it really was. It changed me. Um, and then the next day I wake up at like 2 p.m. And my friend, I have a million missed calls. They think I'm dead, dude. Obviously, they think I'm dead. Wow, oh, it was so bad. Uh, all right, so that's the Sleepless in Seattle. I suggest go listening to the whole story. Um, thank you, uh, Laser Engineer. Thank you for the five, brother. You actually, you know, who cares? Um, jetpack. Let's do Jetpack here. Uh, I went to a Spy Kids movie with my grandma in theaters. Came home. had a We had a small personal trampoline in our, in our very tiny apartment backyard. And I remember... Uh, going into that when I was a kid, going up to the uh, small trampoline and praying to God so hard for a jetpack from the movie Spy Kids. I prayed so hard, I started crying, I was pleading so hard uh, that uh, I almost forgot. Uh, it almost it kind of blocked out the smell of grandma fingering herself on the couch. Uh, zing, zang, bazam. No, but for real, I did cry to God. Uh, and that's the moment I knew God wasn't real because he screwed me so hard then. So... Um, I was a child, didn't get my jetpack, whatever. The Mulan story, it's now been leaked. You can go look it up if you want. But basically, uh, Catfish, Fat Chick, uh, she put on Mulan and I snuck out the back and her mom was there. It was really weird. Uh, canceled Wii Bowling Tournament. I was in a Wii Bowling Tournament years ago with a bunch of YouTubers that was run by Call Me Carson. We filmed it all. I sent him everything. Everything was being edited. It was going to be great. A great opportunity for my career to get a big collab for me. And then Carson got canceled beyond all recognition and the video was scrapped. Uh, so that sucked for me. I'm the victim in this situation. Uh, the poop loofah. Uh, when I was living with uh, my ex, I was using a loofah. Uh, or wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Is this producer? Whatever. Uh, let's just assume it's pretty. This was years ago. I don't remember. Long story short, I was using a loofah on my face that uh, a partner of mine was using uh, for their asshole. Moving on. Uh, ninjas want pizza. Uh, an N word was said on stream, and uh, and let's just say this: it wasn't the word ninja. Uh, it was, you know, it was, it was, it was innocent enough as 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 innocent as it can be, um, and that we're gonna leave it at that. Um, <laughs> that's what, whew. uh, what else do we have here? Butler Ninja. Okay. This one back when I used to play Fortnite again, remember how I said like the French guy I used to do little puppet shows, whatever. Uh, back when I played Fortnite, uh, very early in my streaming career, I would do, uh, a bit where if I got a victory Royale, I would bring Ninja out as my Butler to present my Victory Royale. Here is the original Ninja Butler image that I would bring out, and he'd be carrying my Victory Royale, and I'd, here, it would literally look like this. You ready? This is what old streams would be. Ready? <clears throat> uh, oh, Wubby, oh, 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 your Victory Royale. And then, I, and then I bring myself out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold uh, on. Uh, uh. Oh, 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 Tyler, please, Tyler, just set it down. Just set it down. Just, just set the Victory Royale down, Tyler. And then, and then it would go something like, oh, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, to I don't know. Whatever. You get the point. Um, so that's, uh, that's Butler Ninja. Good times. Bro, most of you haven't seen that. That was like a couple hundred viewers. Uh, all right. We're down at the bottom of the iceberg. We made it. Wubby's first video. Now, what could that be? I struggled with what you guys consider my first video um, because everybody had like first video. The oldest video I can remember making was my mom had like a V like a, like a cam thing. And I filmed a stop motion video of a Snickers bar climbing up my leg, unboxing and then being eaten. Um, so that's technically my first video ever. I have like old videos with friends. Um, the shit is going to be off the cheesy. That is, this is probably the earliest video. 
out there. So we're gonna, th there it is. Um, <laughs> that headset was like 10 bucks, bro. That's all I could afford. Uh, prosciutto, prosciutto was an old meme on stream. Um, and it was just a meme started by someone named Dietz, I believe, uh, where donating, using your resub, anything you could to just drop the definition of prosciutto uh, on stream was basically the entire meme. That has long been dead though. Discord raids. This is one that I miss, but unfortunately, this is a this is a, a product of becoming a successful streamer. And I don't like describing myself as that, but in prosciutto, this case, a full prosciutto crudo is Italian uncooked, unsmoked, and dry cured ham. Prosciutto crudo is usually served yeah, thinly right. sliced. All right, so you get the point. That was really it. Uh, this one is is very old, uh, but Discord raids were. Are you going to explain? Hit the button. <laughs> Only old frogs remember. <laughs> Dude, that's from tonight, bro. So, at the end of stream, and I'm talking, I had maybe, maybe less than a hundred viewers at the time. I'm talking like, I mean, it was, uh, uh, it was, I was a small streamer. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, I can no longer do this. We had to stop it as we started growing. So what we would do. If you were there for this, I would recognize you. That's how small of a community it was at the time. But what we would do is I would raid at the end of stream, I would raid a very small streamer, like a couple viewer Andy, right? Like one to two viewer. And then we would go to their Discord if they had a Discord linked. We would all join their Discord. All like a hundred of us would join their Discord and then just take over for the night. Like I would sit there with the people watching all night and just hang out. Now you might say, Wubby, that's fucked up. You gotta understand, it's not the Wubby you know today. This is a Wubby who was making content for like, you could consider it like a group of friends. That's how few people there were at the time. Uh, we had to stop, eventually I stopped doing it because we had too many viewers. And it was sudden, like now, this is what's weird. This transitional period, you, there's no class taught on it. You just have to, get you just have to learn right eventually it's like i have more viewers now i need to be responsible right i can't be there were like 20 30 people max who do this exactly exactly i all I, I said less than 100 but I, it, it was probably under 50 um and then eventually i had to stop doing it because i had too many viewers so that's uh discord raids the discord nuke oh uh, wait discord raids are what start the start of tt yes that's how i met tt you guys know TT TT now who worked on the production of Streamer Awards? TT. TT was just a kid, dude. That's how I met him. Uh, TT was, that actually ties into the Discord nuke. Uh, uh, my old OG mods were just my first viewers and people who gave me a shitload of money. TT was uh, a fan of the stream who came in. My old mods didn't like him. I liked TT. I didn't really have a problem with him. It started to cause drama. Boring, boring, boring. We were all kids being stupid. I don't blame my old Discord mods. I also, it, it is what it is. We were young and dumb and I would call us children now, really. That, God, I'm getting old if I would call my that self children. Anyway, uh, th there was a divide that was caused. This was very early in the stream career. And those original Discord mods, basically somebody in their private uh, group leaked to me conversations of them talking about nuking the Discord, doxing Wubby, and destroying everything that they had power over. So I secretly nuked all of them before and then came on stream and basically uh, blasted them into outer space. And this was years ago, though. Like, we're, I mean, I don't know. It is what it is now. Uh, subreddit to everything, everything. Um, but like, I don't know, it, it, it does seem, I, I don't know. Can we know talk about horse pneumonia though? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how they feel about it or if they think about it, but I definitely don't. And I hope that, you know, I look at it as like, damn, we were children. It was all very childish. It really was. I, I, and, and I'm embarrassed by my partner and I hope they are too. And like, as someone who's now good friends with TT and he's been my friend for like five years now, uh, I definitely made a good call trusting that kid. Uh, he's a good kid. Uh, anyway, is there a VOD of it? Probably not, man. This is so, I'm telling you, this is so, we are at the blackest part of the iceberg or the tannest part. This is so deep at this point. Um, Civ stream. I believe that was my first ever stream. I played Civ and I believe on that stream, I said a game. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that publicly. Uh, and then I learned you're not allowed to say that. So, uh, that my first ever stream, I think was that, um, 
it is what it is. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't apologize for uh, being young, dumb, and full of cum. I just uh, try to be a better person every day. What are game awards? You should do a game show with- where you and the crew make mixed drink with one of you being a judge, like you did with Off Canny. No n words were dropped in the video, though. All right. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Wubby Iceberg, and we did it all in one stream, according to the highlight video that's going to be made. All in one stream we did. Every single one of these was in one stream Can and not cut up. explain why you hate Chev so much? I don't actually hate him. It's a fun meme to lean into, and in fact, most things on this stream, I walk away in a pretty good mood, and when I'm not in a good mood, you actually know. So, uh, uh, that's that. Um, well, we got to end stream the way we got to end stream, boys. You know what time it is. It's time to unbox some CSGO cases to end stream. Who's going to send me some? 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 No one. I'm going to buy myself. Pussy ass. Yes. Pussy. Gambling. Gambling. Tomorrow I am live for uh, another poker tournament. Uh, if you guys want to support me for free, it's a free way to do it. If you don't want to support me, you can still watch because it's basically like a shitty podcast. Um, but either way, either way, boys, it's not on a mainstream day, so it's a win-win for everybody. I believe it's at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. PST is when we're starting. Feel free to be there. It's fun. Come hang out. Uh, and if you're interested in the tournament, it's free to enter and you can win money. Also, I do giveaways just for watching. That's part of the thing. That's part of the, um, uh, the contract. So, um, I'm very transparent about it. I'm doing it for the bag. I'm allowed to say that. I'm not on a sponsored segment with them right now. I'm absolutely doing it for the bag. And uh, that's that. That's that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for that. Let's open some cases, though. I know you guys can't see my screen right now. May calendar. We haven't started working on the May calendar yet, but we're going to start that next week. Uh, The only thing we do know for May is on Cinco de Mayo, Friday, we're doing a Mexican cook-off. We're doing a Mexican cook-off. How's that sound, bucko? How does that sound, bucko? Sounds pretty good, right? All right, I'm going to open 10 Dreams and Nightmares cases. How does that sound? Does that sound fun? Does that sound fun? Does that sound fun? I love Mexican food. I, bro, I do too, bro. Mexican food always sounds good too. I love Mexican food. I don't like, you know what though? I don't like refried beans in my Mexican food. I like that as a side, not as a burrito ingredient. <clears throat> uh, but what do you mean L? I like I like beans. I just don't like them in in the burrito. In the burrito, it's a little offensive. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. It's not authentic. I don't think that's necessarily true. I've been to a lot of authentic Mexican places, and I don't think that refried beans in the burrito is a metric of authenticity. I mean, I've been served burritos where there is a language barrier and they don't have beans in them. You know, it's just a toss up. All me- agreed. Thank you. I'm Mexican and I agree. Thank you, uh, amigo. You know, right? Hola, brother. I appreciate that. Sorry, I'm buying cases and it's taking longer than it than than it should. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. About the cum covered finches were pretty traumatizing, but not as much as the time I saw your grandma fingering herself on the couch. I need to increase the price of TTS. I think. <laughs> what do you guys think? Are we, are we there? <laughs> no, it's pretty funny. I think AI TTS has been one of the best additions to the stream in in 2023. What do you guys think? All right, here we go. It's time to unbox uh, 10 Dreams and Nightmares cases. 2,000 bits. I kind of like the culture of it, though. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, here we go. If I pull gold, if I pull gold, we remember, guys, if I don't pull gold, it's an instant end stream. It's an instant end stream if I don't pull gold. We have never unboxed the gold on this stream yet. We will do this every stream until we do. Uh, and statistically, we should hit it in a month if I open 10 every time. But that's, you know, you know how stats work because I'm <laughs> thousands of cases in you now. Oh, wait, no, not at the end of the month. At the end of a bunch of months. So we're doing this forever. Yeah, I know. I know. Then hey, you know what, Wubby? What? You're doing great what? and you're working hard. Wubby, and I'm honestly great. proud that's of you. Really and you need to keep it, uh, keep it up Thank the good work that you're doing because you're doing a lot of good work. It. 
I, dude, I don't even get reds, bro. Like, I, uh, that's what's so painful, I think, is I don't even get reds. Not that a red in this case is something I want. Oh, oh my god, a purple! It, it's been so long since I've seen anything but blue, dude! Oh my god, it's, it, it's, Jesus Christ, they have anything other than blues in this case? Okay, we're cooking with, uh, dude, you know I'm down tremendously when I'm screaming for purple. I'm gonna call a spade a spade. Refried beans or baby diarrhea. <laughs> I see, I wouldn't go that far. I think, I think that's a hot take. Three more cases. Use code Wubby on gamer subs, baby. It helps me out. We got a lot of products coming out with them that. Oh, oh my God! Something! Holy shit! Oh, it's been a where to? <laughs> something, dude! Holy fuck! Yes! Okay, something, bro! Holy shit! Oh my God! Yes, dude! First red! Holy shit! Well, hopefully that didn't suck up all the luck for the gold. Actually good, chat. Literally, actually good. Come on, now let's end it really strong. Okay, that's fine. I can't, I actually, I really cannot be mad at pulling a minimal wear red. How much is it? 70 bucks, I will take that. Are you kidding me, $70? That's fine, that's fine, boys. We pulled it, $70 red, I will. Ooh, oh, it's, oh, this is a kind of a nice skin. I've only ever seen Ash use it. I like it, all right, all right. Well, boys, uh, I will see you guys. Uh, do you have the pussy gun? No, I want it, dude. I want oh, it. I want it so bad. What do I? What are some oddities? Um, whatever. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the poker stream. Bye, everybody. It's gonna be off. The G.